Welcome back. We are doing all signs, errors, to Pisces. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, just acknowledge and move on. Starting with elemental quickies. Question of the day. If you had to give up one bad habit for the rest of your life, what's the bad habit you'd like to give up? All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, elemental quickies. All right. Magician reversed. This person feels manipulated. They're not doing anything at all. King of Swords. Ooh, cold and snappity dappity. Why are they so cold? This person is a big manipulator. I feel like they're a ladies man or a man's lady. They never really stick around. They don't have emotions. They're more looking for what looks good on their arm. Ugh. Ten of Cups, looking for something long-term, but they want a trophy. How do you see this person? Nine of Wands, you feel guarded. I mean, you do have affection towards this person, would like to see things work out, but you're kind of getting rubbed the wrong way. Are you taking them wrong? Are we taking this person wrong? Reversed, yes. No, you're not. You're not taking them wrong. So I... I mm. This this is just the type of person that is you can't miss you can't miss it's like they they go out of their way to do nothing they expect things to come to them they're cold and snippety dippity they're a manipulator that's looking for a decent trophy to keep on their arm this isn't the type of person that actually works on a connection they would make you feel very lonely in a relationship. Money would be good. You'd, you know, receive a lot of things, but things do not make you feel happy. Uh-uh. That's, that's a person that buys a trophy. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, and Hangman Reversed. This person's really interested, but they're wondering if waiting is kind of a waste of time. It's like, I really like to date you, I really like you, but why do I feel like I'm wasting, I, you know, they feel like you're just not really there with them. How do you see them? You're waiting for somebody else to come back, possibly. Two more. Kind of sideways. I really, you know, this feels like you're just not quite over somebody else. Trying to be optimistic, but not 100% optimistic yet. Still kind of up in your head about somebody that had been long term. You're not with them, but you're still expecting that person to change. And this is basically telling you it's time to move on. This person could have treated you like an option that you had dealt with in the past. But you're having a hard time. So it's almost like you're not ready yet and this person is knowing it. But they're not sure how, how long they're going to hold on and wait. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, restless warrior. This person likes to get what they want. They want to take action towards you. They want to talk. They want to possibly come back around. They they feel like they've learned their lesson. They could have been talking to your friends. I have learned a lesson. I have learned something. And ooh, they want to be more reliable. They want to take things slow. And try to be happy between the two of you. This is somebody that wants, com you know, contentment. They feel like you fulfill them. But there is something about having taken a break here. How do you see this person? Queen of Cups. You have feelings for them. But you're also using your intuition. All right. Seven of Coins. You wish they would have put a little bit more work into it. Because you're feeling like, was this a waste of time or not? Did this person give up too soon? Like they didn't have enough follow through? Were they distracted? A little bit disappointed. All right, one more. Queen of Coins. Oh, snap. Who were they actually putting the work into? You got the Devil here and the Ace of Wands. Ugh. Source, was this somebody that liked to flirt? Yeah, High Priestess. So I would say that they like to flirt. Did they actually do anything? No, they're just an attempt. They, I feel like this person on the outside really ex exerts all this. I'm really, you know, I'm good. I've got confidence. 
and deep down they need somebody to kind of stroke their ego a little bit, you feel like they could have been a lot more reliable and didn't put enough work into it, made you kind of doubt where things were going. You'd like them to put a little bit more work into it, but I do feel like this person's not as confident as they make themselves out to be. This can be starting over again, though. There needs to be better communication. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Happy, happy, joy, joy. This person's sticking up for you. Connection with you. They want to talk, but they're not doing anything right now. Seven of Wands, sticking up for it, wanting to be content, wanting to be happy. Why do we have the Five of Coins? Two, okay. They they haven't reached out to you. They need to actually do something. They want to be happy. Why do we have the Sun? You might feel like you're ignoring them. Because they, it would make them feel happier if you would open up. They feel like you're kind of being quiet. Keeping your emotions to yourself, minding your own business so it's really hard to read you. They feel like you're not saying much and deep down inside you, it's like they they feel like you're not letting go yet. So they still have hope here. One more for the Seven of Wands. But it's kind of iffy here. This person is selfishness. I want you for, because I want you. How do you see them? Seven of Swords, sneaky, fuckery, bullshit, walking away quietly, Four of Wands. Are they in a different connection? No. Okay, so you feel like you take the back burner to this person and that they're constantly holding back their emotions. You would like there to be more stability and this is something that you've given a lot of thought to. You got the Empress here. It's like, I want, I know my value and I want something that is somebody that's going to be there for me no, no matter what. And if this person left you, abandoned you, made you feel left out, you're not really ready to talk. They know they have toxic ways, but they're sticking up for this connection. But they feel like you're just pushing them away. So it's like not doing anything. They're not doing anything right now, but they want happiness. They want to come your direction. They want to initiate and stick up for this connection, but they feel like you're just kind of blocking their, you know, messages, voicemail, whatever it is. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Okay, you have the overall energy of the Hierophant, so it can be a Taurus coming your direction, but it looks like you're looking for a breakthrough with somebody, seeking answers, seeking the truth, and ready to slap somebody with a moral moral morality be good behavior stick so it, what holding back not doing it but really thinking about it you you need answers you need clarification so let's see what we get person most on their mind or in their energetic field their thoughts judgment one more they feel like there's an important choice that needs to be made and they're not doing it right now they're waiting how do they actually feel feelings they feel like you are kind of giving them a cold shoulder and that you're not buying what they're saying. I tend to believe it. They're hiding their emotions. They're hiding their feelings. How do they actually feel? Because I can see that they're giving, you know, feeling like you're giving them doubt. They're thinking about just maintaining it, their independence and staying single. Like this is too much work and that you're too pissed off. How do you see this person? An opportunity. Small amount of stability. One more. You have very high expectations with this person. You want quite a bit from them. But are they meeting your expectations? Your actual feelings? One more. Okay. Okay. You want to release the tension here. You still want to be acknowledged by this person. You still feel like you can get over this hump in the road. I mean, you feel pretty decent about this. What's the blockage? What's the blockage? They might feel like you're hard to please. The blockage is somebody's losing interest here. Getting kind of bored with it. 
and ready to out the door. Obviously them. If you're standing here going, these are my expectations. I feel like, you know, I'm acknowledging you where this is going great. You know, I'm leaving the baggage behind. Everything's honky-dory. They're holding back. They feel like you have very high expectations and they're not meeting it. And that you could be a bit irrational and that you have no patience with them. But they're not telling you. They don't know what to do. Your feelings. Feelings, feelings. You know. You feel that you know that this person is secretly thinking about turning a different direction. Their action. One more for action. It does look like things can go better, but the communication here has to change. Because right now that's like, I might bail if this doesn't change. Why do they think you're such a hard ass? Why do they, why the queen? Why the queen? Because they think that you're a little bit, you act a little bit entitled and that you want to have your way and that everything should be, you know, revolved around you. But they've got the wrong impression of you with the fool reversed here. They feel like you could be toying with them emotionally. They don't know if they can be taking you seriously. So they've got their doubts, but they, they are interested in going the, you know, the full road, the full mile with you. Your action. I think that your actions showing them more affection and love where you possibly had held back a little bit before you need to show them more work. I'm sorry, but this is more, more on your side. It's saying that you've been a little bit uptight. If you're looking for a commitment from them, they're not exactly ready. They know that that's a big choice. So they're holding back from that yet. They're a little bit afraid of jumping in and throwing a ring on your finger. So stop pushing. What do we have for singles? I mean, this really does say if you don't want to lose this person, try not to talk, you know, talk that way about them. All right, singles. Incoming. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Movement forward. Can be travels. Can meet somebody out and about. A lot of passion. Ooh. Growing emotions. Mm. Somebody very generous. That looks nice. Let's see if you are interested. Are you interested? Yep. So, you know, you feel like taking action here. You feel like you're using your head and your heart and that this person is very emotionally stable. Something that's worthwhile. That this could grow to something better. So, wow. This is beautiful for singles. This here doesn't seem like this terrible. It really doesn't. It doesn't seem terrible. You know, and the sun had popped out, Leo energy. This is just looking like you're asking for a bit much too soon. High expectations. They're feeling like let's slow the roll here a little bit. They're a little bit of they're a little bit afraid of it. It's like, Ugh. and they do. They feel like you kind of act a little bit entitled and that it has to be your decision, your choice, and everything. But their feelings for you are growing. They don't plan on leaving. This isn't anything terrible. You just got to hold back a little bit, hold back a little bit, put a little bit more work onto your side so that you can, I mean, this is promises made and faith and hope, and this is having faith too. So, I mean, this is really a nice reading. It really is. Let's see what they would say to you. All right. What would they say? Oh, I am manifesting more money for me and eventually us. I don't see a shit ton, but this can be trying to work on finances, but it's more separate. But I mean, I can see you working on finances as well, possibly. You have the key to my heart. And this, I mean, they're really into you. You're such a star, but you already know that. Your aura is beautiful. So they could be a little on the spiritual side. And singles... We just keep this on the low. They want to start simple. They don't want to get too involved too quickly. 
I have a crush on you and someone else too. You might not be the only one, but it does look like you're looking at them like you don't see that. Okay. If only I could see you again. They want to see you again, but it's new. So, you know, it's not exclusive yet singles, but kind of work into that direction. You're very interested in this person. It seems like it's a hot, fast, quick attraction, a lot of communication going back and forth, but at the same time, they might have somebody else on the, not on the sly, like they're screwing, but a crush. Okay. So just be aware of it. Kind of do a little background check on them. And I do feel like deep down, you know, that this is true and keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but this person just, it's like, they're kind of losing interest in this. It's like, they don't want to, they don't want to fail. They're trying, they're, they're a little restless and want this to change so that it's a little more balanced and a little more, uh, a lot more balanced. Like, so they have a say in things. They really kind of feel like they don't have a say in things and that you're kind of controlling everything else. Controlling. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you do want things to go smooth and you do feel like you can get over this hurdle, but you do have really, you know, big expectations and they might think some of that is money and I don't think that's your intention at all. It's like, this is a great opportunity. I don't think this is, according to you, have anything to do with finances. They really could have taken you wrong saying something. Taurus, Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, I just feel like they're taking you wrong. And then they're coming to their own conclusions and assumptions. All right. That's what we have for you, Aries. And on we go. All right, Taurus says, question of the day. If you had to pick one habit that you absolutely had to give up, what would it be? Elemental quickies. If you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Ooh. Ooh. This person wants commitment. They want long-term they're very passionate about it. They're taking action to you. Oof. Very optimistic, having a lot of hope and faith. Wow. Decent person, not a player. Your thoughts. Oh, yeah. You feel like they treat you well. You feel like they're responsible, reliable. They take care of things. You can meet this person out and about, out drinking amongst people, but it's something to celebrate. So definitely being this feeling of, wow, nurtured, really being doted on. Wow. Nice connection. Feels new. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Ace of Swords. Wanting a breakthrough. Wanting to talk. Hanged Man. Okay, they, they're they trying to not have this ending here. They're holding back. They want to have a talk before they call it quits with you. So wanting to clear the air. Possibly say, I will give up this or that. Yeah, they're stuck on you. This is somebody that wants to be optimistic, that but they keep telling the same story over and over in their head. They know that there's got to be a change. How do you see this person? Boom. Why the tower? Okay. <clears throat> you know that they want to come back. You know that they want to make right by you, but you do feel like they're a little bit immature. Why the page? Why the page of wands? You want them to kind of be more mature. You want them to show you more love. You want them to be more empathetic. You might feel like them leaving in the first place was not the right thing to do and they're just coming, like they have a reason, financial or other, that they are coming back, like they've got a different motive. So you're kind of iffy, kind of iffy. It's like, yeah, I know, I know you want to come back, but I need to do what's right for me. So this is talking to this person. This is kind of in limbo, but what are they willing to sacrifice to make this work? This is saying that they're ready to change and want a big change, but not doing it until there's clarification between the two of you. Kind of dumb, actually, because it's like, would you want to be a better person for the next person, even if Taurus said, no, we're not getting back together, or no, we're not going to work these things out, but that's how they're rolling. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. 
Page of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. All right. A little bit greedy with their emotions. So they're starting small. You can meet this person through a friend. They do want things to go well. This can be all about timing. Why the Four of Pentacles? I really feel like this person's just concentrated on money. I really do. You got the two of wands and it's like no dating right now. I'm, you know, not making, not making any choices or not happy with the choice that they made, but they're hesitating. They're, they're not even patient. It's all work any money, work any money, work any money, staying in. I, I don't feel like they no connection, hesitating to date, hesitating to commit to something. Mm -mm. I feel like they're looking at money, money, money right now. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. Judgment, King of Wands. One more. Okay. Do we have two here? Reversed, yes. No. Okay, this person wants another opportunity with you or just generally speaking, they have a lot of passion towards you. This is somebody that wants the action. They're very motivated. They're very uh, confident in a, you know bringing you an offer. How do you see them? Oh, devilish. Two more. Can be a Capricorn. All right, Chariot, you feel like they're a little bit quick, but you do feel passion towards them. So this can be that you're, you know, really tempted by this person. It doesn't have to be anything terrible. You can feel like they, they've they got, like, it's too quick. It's a little bit quick, feeling like they're pushing a little bit hard, but still determined to try to check this out. I would say you're definitely interested in getting attention from this person. So it's looking like giving it a shot with judgment there. It's kind of like a, see how it goes, but it's a big choice for you. You're not just going to, you're going to stand your ground and make sure that they're respectable and honest. So it's like you're not pouring your heart out to them, but you are going to check it out. Another new connection. All right, let's get a fresh deck. All right, Taurus, you have the overall energy of the fool. So it can be an Aries coming your direction. Cut of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Feels like a new cycle coming your direction. Very optimistic. Can be an Aries, but it's like a change and it feels like good luck, good fortune, progression, something coming your direction that feels like it's going to have a good outcome. Spending time with someone. Source, person most on their mind or in their energetic field, their thoughts. Okay. The Emperor. Okay, so they stand strong in their beliefs. One more. For their thoughts, Chariot, very, very determined. They are really wanting this to be something that goes somewhere. Feelings, feelings, Knight of Wands, extremely passionate about you. Very determined, very motivated, coming in, 30 messages. All right. And willing to put the work into it. So this does feel like a newer connection. You got the Seven of Pentacles, so it's like... Let's be patient. I'm evaluating this. I, you know, want to keep the pace slow. Their opinion is kind of like, okay, a little at a time and see where it goes. All right, let's see what you think of them. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, you feel like they're a good worker, reliable, honest, dedicated. One more. There's the Wheel of Fortune. And you do feel like, ooh, lucky me. Progress. You feel like this is something that can really go somewhere. Yours is a little more lovey-dovey here. I feel like this could go somewhere. I'd like this to go somewhere. I feel like I'm catching feelings. Oh, yes, you are. Ace of Cups. This is a beautiful new start. Beautiful new start. What's the mutual energy? <laughs> A crush and spending time together, trying to see if the two of you click. Temper and spending time together, seeing if you can get the balance, being very patient with one another. Messaging, getting to know each other. This is beautiful energy. <sighs> wow. All right. Where does this go? Okay. Ooh. It might 
stir up a lot faster than you're expecting because this is like this person has the idea that they really want to open up communication they really want to move forward they feel like it's heading in the right direction it sure the hell looks nice very nice for singles okay let's see what we got if you want your person back their thoughts source ace of wands okay they might still have love on their mind and stability when it comes to what's the blockage somebody needs to make a move there's arguments here there's like a stalemate they're procrastinating even though they want to come your way feelings 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 they're all up in their head they're kind of guarded and then you got the eight of swords so this is somebody that does feel stuck why do they feel stuck and it can be just because of the bull they're holding back what do they have to sacrifice what do they need to do they feel like you're being irrational and you're really coming to your own conclusions and you're being very guarded and confrontational like you're being a naggy bitch and very demanding one more for the hangman yeah, this is somebody that knows that it's going to possibly pop off into an argument. And they don't want the drama. Their action. Three of Wands. They're, they're just... They, they're not setting out to do anything. They're, they're very impatient. They can have a temper. They're kind of holding back here. They want things that are anticipating a lot of bullshit. So, mm, one more for the King of Wands reversed. They're still not over you, though. But So, this person's throwing a little hissy fit, pout. But they aren't over you. I'm saying this is going to be a waiting game. This person's got a little bit of a <sighs> entitled feeling. Where they're being a little bit selfish, holding back, not doing nothing, but they do anticipate. Deep down, they anticipate the two of you getting back together, but they're not. Nobody's doing nothing. They still have passion. They still want this to grow. They just, the drama and bullshit, they're still stuck on you. So it's a matter of time. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio. Nice reading, guys. Sagittarius, Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries again, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all signs are in here. Let's see what they would say to you. Source. Singles. That was quick. All right, I'm still grieving my last relationship, but I act like I'm not, so you won't worry. Okay, a little guarded. And I've been married before. whoop de doo And then person from the past. I have flighty ways because this connection is too intense. I spy on your social media. It helps me cope during our separation, but they're still weighing their options. So they're not sure what the hell to do yet. The single person, they've been married before and they're still kind of hanging on, clinging to the past. But they are really coming off extremely confident. So may or may not ring true. All right, my Tauruses, that's what we have for you. And on we go. All right, Gemini, question of the day. If you had to give up one habit, what would it be? All right, elemental quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. My condolences. All right, this person's up in their head, has some courage, but they're a little bit guarded and doubtful, could be acting a little bit paranoid, but they are very interested in you. One more. They might be showing themselves as confident, not over you. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, they're all up in their head. Do they feel guilty? Why do we have the King of Wands? emperor they're changing their mind and they want to try again so are you willing to do that let's see what you think you got the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck are you interested in trying it again justice if they come at you right one more it can be 
you're going to stay single because you don't want any drama. So, you know, it's like, uh, sucks to be you. You got what, you know, you reap what you sow. You had it coming. No, you think that they act too impulsive and shitty and you don't like the way they talk to you. So, no. <laughs> They could have been flirting around, but they... Th so that King of Wands can sometimes act like it's all about them. Very entitled. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Okay. I'm still thinking about us. I'm still thinking about us. Now, this can be somebody that's from the past. Doesn't have to be an ex. It can be somebody that you just are very aware of and comfortable with. But they would be happy to be in a committed connection with you. Let's see what you think. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Optimistic though. You feel like this person's got a lot to offer and they're reliable, but you have higher expectations than they might be okay with. You still got some red flags with this person. So yes, you're interested, but there's something that you feel is just off. What's the red flag? You know, why are they coming back around? Why, you know, why did your paths cross in the first place and then things did? What was the blockage? The blockage is that they put you possibly in a third party situation and that they broke this off that way. Talking shit, talking to other people, trying to hide it breaking it off there wasn't any stability and this could have been a long time ago or it could have been more recent so this person could have changed in the meantime but they would be content and you're going mm, still some red flags you did this or that maybe but you do feel like they have a hell of a lot to offer you're willing to give it a shot but you're going to be very cautious you're not throwing your love into this you're putting effort not love so it's a possibility all right Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's not Simon. Sacrifice, thinking. Nine of, ooh. They want to come in and show you. They, I mean, they're holding back, but they want to come in and show you that they want to get back together. Why do we have the hangman? They don't want this to be over. They might be giving you a little breathing room so that you can not be as pissed off. What was the blockage? What's the blockage? They did something stupid because we're basically reversing this. They walked away doing something stupid. It was one-sided bullshit. They could have lied and said that they were seeing a friend, but they weren't showing you reliability. And they could have been flirting with somebody else, but they were not being true blue. They bailed to check out another. I mean, they really screwed up royally. Okay. Feeling possibly trapped. It was an unwanted change. You had the loss here. It made you really feel bad. They should be feeling guilty about this. And yet, they, they're waiting. They're waiting for the opportunity to get back together with you. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Death. Possibly a Scorpio. Can be a big change or an ending. I want to come back around. I feel like shit. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. They want to recover what they feel is theirs. They're replaying the events over and over and over in their mind on how they what they cause. They want you to change your mind. They want things to go better between the two of you. They want to start up over. Can we get on the same page? Very similar energy. What do you think? I'm still hurt. You're fucking confused. I'm pissed and cutting you out. You feel like this person was a pain in the ass and you put more work into it and they just walked away. So you're anticipating the same thing that they're going to pull the same bullshit. You're not tolerating anything. You're like, I'm not, you're not going to manipulate me. I am so pissed off at you. Why would you, you're cutting them out. You're done. Not in the mood for any crap at all. Nope. Done. 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 All right. Let's get a clean deck. All right, Jammies, you have the overall energy of the Emperor. You have the Devil right underneath of it. So you can be dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn. Cut of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords reversed. I feel like you're seeing somebody in a different light or kind of seeing them for who they really are. Something that you're not real pleased about. But, you know, realizing the truth. 
Okay, it's not like this person confessed to you. So let's see what we get. Source, person most on their mind or in their energetic field's thoughts. Okay. They're disappointed. But they did this shit themselves. This is somebody that wants their independence. I'm calling player here. They don't want any drama and bullshit with you. How do they actually feel about Gemini feelings? Unreliable? Why do they feel that you're fucking unreliable? They also may feel like they couldn't ever live up to your expectations. But they want happiness. What? They also could be saying that they're happier not being with you. Ouch. Their actions. They're wasting your fucking time, but they're still trying to come back around. What do they want? What does this person want? Ooh. They want their... Okay, so what are they trying to push for? To do the right thing. Oh, really? No. No. How do you see this person? You want them to put more work into it. You still have emotions towards them. That's straight up somebody that this has been very on and off with. They could have been very in and out of your life. Emotionally, you're trying to be smart, trying to not be attached to them. What are you working on? New love? How do you feel about this person? Kind of sideways. You don't know how the hell to feel. It's like not as... It's not the best memories, but you still think about them and do miss them. You get the world. Why do we have the world? You don't trust them. I feel like you are working on a new connection and moving forward. Blockage. <clears throat> That's a cold, manipulating asshole. And the King of Cups reversed also can be an emotional button pusher. I do not feel like you should trust this person. Blockage. Cold, detached, unemotional, emotional manipulator, no patience, deceptive as hell, unreliable. Not offering shit. I really feel like there's a better opportunity coming for you. That's basically say you're waiting for a better offer. So you're putting work into something else. You've got kind of mixed emotions when it comes to this person. I feel like you judge them correctly. What is coming towards Gemini that they are interested in? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. It feels like you could have met a Pisces, somebody that you're doing a background check. Very guarded. Still afraid of being hurt because of this crap, but it does seem like somebody's approached you. Could have been at a party or a gathering, but, you know, put the moves on you. And you're kind of going, I, I like the idea of putting work into this, yes, but you're very cautious. You, you, you know, you're a little bit irritated with the person from the past yet. So you're holding yourself back. You're apprehensive, you're irritated. You could still feel some jealousy and, you know, the surrendering to that crap over there. They want to be happy and pound sunshine up your ass. I don't think you, I think you're trying to work on healing and they want to reconcile. Your action towards that person, <laughs> ignoring them, you, you don't want to talk to them. You feel like they dissed you and that they're smothering and that they're out for a, a, an alternative motive. Like they've got a different, you know plan of action like they're trying to financially use you or whatever the case may be but it's like i'm wise enough to know that this is you're just starting over with somebody new you're gonna cut this person out no trust here so single 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 source all right you got the tower first you have to let go of the past and the drama what sign could be coming their direction Ooh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's attentiveness as well. Their interest. They're waiting until you release something else. They do want an opportunity with you. They want things to go better. 
but they feel like you're hesitating. It almost wraps right into this right here. They feel like you're not afraid of intimacy, but afraid of kind of committing to a yes, no. You know, they're not sure that you're going there. And it can be because it's like, yes, I really like your attention, but I'm afraid of anybody that has a roaming eye. This other person's really made you guarded. Holding back your emotions. But you got to leave the shit show in the past. There was, I mean, and that looks like this was ugh, a long road of bullshit. And it looks like you tried and tried and tried. And they were always deceptive and always looking at other options. Never completely content. You want stability. So this person, I feel like, is whacked and that you're just done with it. They want to come back, but there's a, they can also be mutually blaming you at the same time for not putting any work into it and wasting their time. They might be feeling like, yay, better off now that this is done, but I still feel like they have something to say, and it could be with finances. So new energy, yes, but they are aware that you're leery and needing to let something go. All right, Libra Taurus. Libra. Virgo, here's Leo Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, New Love. I feel like you're working on new love and you are really standing your ground and not taking anything. It's like, I need reliability. Somebody comes in, you're not ready for it, but still wanting to give it a chance. This person here, it's like, enough of that. Manipulating. Mm-mm. This can be the master manipulator. I'm very good at it, too. Okay? But they're, they're going to commit now. No, they're not. No. They have an alternative motive. They're up to something. So be careful. Because this is looking like, yep, I'm a playboy, play girl. I'm just kind of sidestepping the drama. I'm going to remain single. I'm very independent and good at it. But, oop, you know, you got a few coins there that I would like to take. I just feel like they're selfish. All right. Let's see what they would say. Source, singles first. Oh, crepes. I want to have a son with you. Meh. Person from the past. I have commitment issues. I have a crush on you and somebody else too. Uh-oh. Okay, X. My attention is elsewhere right now. Third party interference. My world is crumbling. I'm so devastated. Mm. Can you feel my energy? I reach out to you often. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. The newer person does want to prove themselves, but they could have somebody else in mind if you're, you know, if you're not, I want a son with you. No, no sons. Can we keep this on the low? Uh, Okay, maybe not so much that one. <laughs> I don't see that. I have a crush on you and someone else too, possibly. This person's like, I, I want something to go somewhere. Your person from the past, they're crumbling. They, uh-uh, they're not devastated. You're devastated. Attention elsewhere, yes. Commitment issues and trust issues, yes. Ay vey, guys, what the hell? Okay, Gemini's, that's what we have for you. On we go. Cancer, question of the day. If you had to give up one habit for the rest of your life, what would the habit be? All right, elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, source. Okay, good old fire signs. Ooh. This person has faith that this can work out between the two of you. They don't, they aren't considering any other options. So this person's true, true, true. Let's see what you think of this person. They could have weighed out other options, but they're not confused. It could be, you know, really up in their head about you. You think that they're fair and balanced and they have a lot to offer. Ho, ho, ho. Now you can meet this person at a part of your gathering. Can be a Libra, Aquarius, but there is definitely hoping that this, this looks pretty damn nice. It feels like a newer connection. That really feels like somebody that's determined. Woo. Now, you can meet this person online. Can be a lot of communication back and forth, but they definitely are interested in seeing this work. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. The lovers. Oh, my. 
This is somebody that definitely wants to see a connection grow. Holy crap. Your thoughts. You're not sure about it? You're a little anxious? Now, that can be just um, that Twitter-pated feeling where they make you kind of nervous, but, like, excited nervous. This is a new chapter. You guys, woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. This person wants to see a connection grow. A grow big time. New connection. And they want to see it bloom. So willing to take the chance. You want to get to know them better. You're a little anxious about it. But still looking at them like new. New, 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 new. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Oh, give me a Gemini too. Nice. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Kind of had to come out sideways. One more. All right. This person and you have a heartache between the two of you and there's too many lies and deception. There's too much that's unknown. They do miss you, but I don't feel like they're doing anything. They're holding back. Nothing's happening here. It's like, do we try to work this out or not? Nobody trusts the other one here. Not at all. Your thoughts. Keep moving. Kind of. One more. Okay. That can be a mutual blame game, though, too, with the Five of Pentacles reversed. You don't want any drama. So, ugh, this would have to go really slow. You have three fives reversed. I don't want the drama. I don't want the headache. I don't want the lies. I don't want the bullshit. But possibly trying to have them come, you know, possibly have them come back around and discuss. So, very, very iffy. Cut of the deck. Too. Yeah, you're very iffy about if this is going to ever work again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. This person's taking a time out. Kind of secluding, withdrawn, doing some thinking, trying to figure out what's best for them. They are disappointed. Aw. Why are they disappointed? Why are you pouting, person? Because they miss you. Oh. Any action? Nope. This person is still stuck on you. They still have feelings for you. This does not feel like something long term. I mean, you got the page of cups here reversed. This is somebody that's pouting but immature about it at the same time. Missing you but not doing anything. How do you see this person? You want their attention. Go get it. What's what is the blockage? You want to be acknowledged. The truth is the blockage. Ooh. That are a big talk that needs to be had here because you feel like you're in limbo. It's like, am I, am I waiting or what? You want more stability with this person? You want them to show more love. There is something about being up in the head. Something needs to be discussed here. You got the eight and the nine of swords. Can be guilt, but they're taking a major time out. And now that can be just their personal aspect in life. They could have lost somebody. I hate to say that, but it can be true, and they're just doing some thinking, possibly some thinking, drinking. All right, let's get a clean deck, Cancers. Okay, you guys have the overall energy of, let's make sure I just got one, Justice. So it can be a Libra coming your way more to the single side. But there's looking like some happiness or something that's going to make you content. You got the Ace of Wands. This is feeling like new energy coming in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something that would make you very happy. Could be weighing options. Can be more than one person. Let's start with singles. Who's coming towards our single source? Who, who, who? Who are you? Six of Cups. Somebody that you... Now, it doesn't have to be somebody from the past. Somebody that you're comfortable with. Can be wanting to make new memories, but they're very determined. Oof. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Cut of the deck. Their intention, Ten of Cups. This is somebody that wants long-term. I just have this feeling that you know this person. Right underneath of that, you have the Seven of Pentacles. It's like they're willing to plant the seeds and see where this goes. Feelings for you. Feelings. Do they have feelings right now? Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Very persistent ones at that. This is somebody that's on the go and ready to drop a proposal of some sort. Very interested sexually. But this isn't just, um, they're getting off their horse and tying the horse up. They're sticking around. Nice. Very passionate. They want to talk. They want to move things forward. Can be a little bit quick. I will say that because the chariot sometimes can be a little bit of a push. Let's see what you think of this person. Okay, Six of Pentacles, that's generosity. 
eight of pentacles and the hangman all came out. So the hangman is something that you're going to think about. Uh, it can be because of something that happened between the two of you already. Let's get one more for the hangman. It's using your gut feeling. You might need to let go of some of your, you know, past drama if you're familiar with somebody. Okay. Got the page of cups and we got the four of swords reverse. So this person, you feel like there's something that's got to be talked out prior to, but you are interested in seeing where this can go. You have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck now. So there's a reason they make you feel restless. They could have in the past led you, I don't want to say led you on, but left you kind of hanging or you, you didn't quite click and it just kind of drizzled apart. I mean, this doesn't look terrible, but for seeing them as somebody that's generous, that's saying... I want to have a sense of security. I want abundance from this person. And it sure the hell looks like you want to put some work into this too. A little bit of a reservation, but not terrible. Let's see what we have for wanting your person back. What are they thinking? Source. The Emperor. Stability. Amber is not emotionless, but they control their emotions. And you have the Empress. Okay, then. This person still has feelings for you, and they're thinking that the two of you are kind of meant to be together. Let's get actual feelings. So they're thinking about the two of you. Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. They don't know what to do. With the Eight of Swords here, I feel like they're stuck on you, but the Four of Pentacles are kind of keeping it to themselves. One more for feelings. Strength. Why are we holding back? What's the blockage? That can be lust as well, but that is an emotional tie, and they feel stuck. Blockage. Nine of Wands. Somebody gave up too soon. Tired of fighting for this. One more for blockage. And death reversed. Yeah, that, I mean, they're not over you, but somebody just kind of threw in the white towel. One more for death. Page of Wands. All right, one more for the Page of Wands, just to be sure. The moon. Okay. This to me seems like this person was immature about something, possibly did something that could have been flirting, but it was very impulsive and made you concerned with their reliability. With the moon here reversed, it came out. I mean, we're basically reversing it because when we say blockage, is this person with a karmic connection? Are they in a connection reversed? Yes. No. And you also have judgment. So judgment is bringing this up. This is somebody that does want to start things up with a sense of security. They feel like the two of you belong together, but they're holding back. They feel stuck. And it's probably because of the bullshit that they pulled. It also can be because of children. I will say that because the page can be children. So there could have been an issue with one's child being like, I can't, you know, they went, oh, I can't take this shit anymore. Seven of Pentacles for your feelings or thoughts. So you're thinking, can this still, you know, you're you're being patient. Five of Wands. You don't want the drama. You feel like this person's constantly causing fr friction and bickering that doesn't need to be there. But you still have emotions towards that person. You still care, but you're using your head and your heart. You feel like they need to. This is anticipating though, okay? So I'm anticipating moving forward, but knowing that I'm going to have to wait for this person to be mature enough. Are you going to give them the chance again? Because it's looking like you're really standing your ground. It's like, I will beat you with the, all of these sticks that I have here. You're defensive about it. You want them to put more work into it. One more for the five of wands. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just, it'd be like, if you tried again and they couldn't stop the bullshit, the bickering, the drama, manipulating games, struggles, friction, anything that tests your patient that was petty and bullshit or manipulative and meets you halfway, you'd be like, I'm good on my own then. So this is 
basically feeling more like on you because it does seem like you're missing that person but either way it's like ah uh, i'm gonna have what i want i need a connection that's actually going to work and if not i'll walk away so it does seem like it's on you i mean you're still passionate about this person you're still i feel like you feel bound to them as well but they do irritate you at times. What is the likely outcome here? Likely outcome. Okay, Page of Swords. Watching from a distance, collecting information, making sure you got your T's crossed and your I's dotted, and then the world. I mean, this can be starting up again, but I really feel like you... Yeah. Contentment and happiness, but that's a, a card also of slightly... Uh, independent because it's like I've got everything that I need so you better come at me right but there is a lot of faith and optimism here so weighing your options are you, you know is this person going to come at you not right now not right now I feel like there's just a space or a time that need it's like you guys need to get the fuck away from each other for a time being just to go to your separate corners and chill okay optimism daydreaming wanting to there's clarity so this is a need to talk and clear the air and have a breakthrough if you can have a breakthrough with that person did they learn a lesson you know you feel like they need to learn a lesson you feel like they need to act more like an adult can it happen yes especially with them thinking up here that you're meant to be together that would say that they're the provider Male or female does not matter. Provider and waiting, you know, provider. I'm waiting. The The emperor makes that initiative. The empress waits. Okay, so I feel like they're waiting for you to do something because right now they're keeping their opinion to themselves, but they still feel stuck on you. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can be messages here with this page and not just watching and stalking, but, you know, like the Spanish Inquisition and seeing if this person's actually willing to put the work into it or not. Is it worth my time or are you going to be a, you know, going to be a horse's ass? Leo. But this does stand a chance. For you, it's got to go slow. Make it worth my investment. Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sag. Scorpio. Libra, Taurus, Aries, Libra. heavy Libra, heavy Pisces, hey. Cancer. Take I didn't. Out of it. <laughs> we aren't talking about your belly, honey. No. Aries, Leo, Sag. This person's got very good intentions. Cancer, I believe I mentioned. All right, let's see what they would say. Source. What would that person say? Singles first. Singles. What do we have? Can I be transparent with you? Really? They want to flash you? I'm ready to tell you the truth and heal this connection. Now that could be for either. <laughs> All right, let's get one more. I talked to my close friends about you and our connection. I need time to relax and clear my mind. Next one up is, my mind's all over the place right now. I need space and time. I feel like that's more you, however. Yeah. All right. That's what we have for you, Cancers. Yeah. On we go. Leo's question of the day. If you had to give up one habit, good or bad, one habit. All right. Aries, Leo, Sad, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with another fire sign. What do we have for fire signs? Okay. Queen of Cups reversed. High Priestess reversed. Uh-oh. This is looking like somebody that knows that they disappointed you by some red flags here that they caused. Because that's what they're feeling. Three of Pentacles. They still want to be able to work things out. Can we try again? This person still wants to have a connection with you. <laughs> Why the Queen of Cups reversed? Page of Pentacles. They might have told you that somebody, I mean, this can be that this third party or possible third party was somebody that you actually knew. Your thoughts. 
magician. I mean, if you wanted this person back and you wanted this to work, it can. Four of Wands. I mean, it does look like you would give this a try. And no hesitation. I don't want to say no hesitation, but with a lot of thought and determination and willful. So this does look like you would want this person to put the work into it, but there are red flags there. So be careful. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <coughs> All right, we got the sun. Optimism. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And the ace of swords. Breakthrough, clarity. Big change, big change. One more. A little girded. I feel like this person is afraid of being hurt. So let's see. Why the nine of wands? They're very optimistic. They are interested in you. They want to bring this forward. They want to have an opportunity with you, but they are a little bit, pe not pessimistic, but just kind of like guarded. They they really want this to work. They're, they're bringing the courage to the table and they have a lot of hope and optimism. Could be daydreaming about you. It seems like they're coming in with a, hey, I really dig you. What do you think? So getting the balls up to do so. Let's see what you think. All right, you have the Ace of Wands. It is somebody that you are interested in, but you want things to go smooth. It doesn't mean that you um, are leaving them. This is moving it beyond bullshit. So it's a new road, a new trip, some freedom, releasing tension, releasing the past. You have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck, putting up very clear boundaries. Wanting a sense of security, but you are interested. Looks nice. Okay. So somebody's getting the huevos up to ask you, oh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Oh, the King of Wands. Are they chasing you? Yep. I want you back. I know I screwed up. I know I dropped this. They're trying to be more optimistic. Your thoughts. Justice. Dun, 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 dun. But the lovers. One more. Six of Wands reversed. You're still kind of pissed. You feel like they went a different direction and they can be superficial and malicious. It's like you weren't focusing on me. You were focusing on somebody else and you got your karma. What are you going to do about it though? You just are kind of like tough shit, tough luck. Seven of Swords, you lied to me. That person would have to put a lot of work into it. Ho, ho, ho. Because you are really holding back. You're kind of giving them one of those. Well, 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 well. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Chariot can be Cancer as well. Determination. Optimistic. Willpower. King of Swords. They want to be taken seriously. You can have resting bitch face like the Wookiee. All right. And then we have the Ace of Cups and Judgment. So how do you see this person? Four of Pentacles. You have a hard time kind of reading them because it's like, I, what, what, what do you want? You're willing to, to give it a try. That you are still a little bit leery here. It's like, I don't want to lose anything, so I'm not going to invest in this too much. You're not sure if this person is somebody that you're going to be able to commit to. You might feel like this person still kind of wants their freedom. You're just kind of like, I don't know, I might just go my own way. You feel like this person might be full of shit. One more. You're willing to try, though. So... They're going to have to take it slow because you've got some reservations when it comes to this person and it deals with their intentions. It's like, are you going to be a faithful type person? Are you going to be stable? You know, are you going to eventually have a, are you going to follow my norms and values? The things that I've set out that I like. So it does look like they're really willing to give it a chance and they want you to take them seriously. It's almost like they're afraid to get a little bit emotionally involved because they're being very, very logical, but honest. Okay, let's get a clean deck. 
Okay, Leos, you have the overall energy of the magician. So this is looking like you're ready to make a move. You got the two of cups here. So that can be for singles, but it's looking like opening up a lot of communication. This also can be a reconciliation. So we're going to hold our tongue until we see what we got. Singles first. Who's coming towards my singles? Single, singles. Oh, boy. Somebody that's got a lot of passion towards you can meet them at a gathering, but they're thinking about something stable. What are their actual feelings? Woo! They want to work on this. Well, hello, lover. One more for feelings. Okay, this person may just have... It feels like they just got ready to start something. They're, you know... They could have had their own ending. It feels like they're just ready, but they are ready to start something new. And then you got the lovers. I feel like they feel like you would be definitely something to hold on to. My, my, my. Let's see what you think of them. Okay. Collect myself. What will Leo think of this person? Worth the effort. Okay, so you're you're willing to give it a chance. You feel like they would oh my put you up on a pedestal, make you feel good about yourself. This is something that definitely can grow. It's almost like if you have any doubt, they're gonna prove you not necessarily wrong, but they're gonna prove to you that it's worth the effort because they've got more on their side. They're like, Woohoo, I'm coming at you. Strong. That's growing emotions. That's abundance. Very nice. Ooh. And there's the Two of Cups that came out. So you are interested in definitely giving this person a chance. With the lovers, clear communication, clear respect, very sweet energy. What do we have for the X? X is thoughts. King of Cups. One more. Okay. Their feelings. Okay, can we get past this? Can we get beyond this? Will you open up? This person still has feelings for you. With the overall energy of the magician, it's almost like anything's possible. This does look like they want to make a move towards you very quickly. Can we leave the baggage behind us? Can we have better times? Can we make things go better? What's the blockage? Okay, well, they're not over you. One more. Okay. So there was something wrong between the two of you that wasn't fair. All right. This wasn't balanced, wasn't fair. Doesn't mean that there had to have been a third party just because we have a three here. The three of coins reversed. This person might need to stop acting like they're the only person in the connection. Like they need to learn how to work together so that the two of you, like justice has two scales. It was a little uneven. Yeah. I need to listen. It could be a little bit more isolated. They need to, you know, make more use of their time and energy. How do you see this person? How do you see them? Okay. You're putting up very clear boundaries, but it does look like you might give them a second chance. One more. Or third or fourth or whatever. Oh, yeah. This is a big breakthrough in clearing the air. So, Wow. This is starting again, but it's like you're saying stability, acknowledgement, serious, but yeah, long-term connection. So yes, this can. It does look like you are missing this person, but you want them to take you seriously or you will cut them out again. I mean, it's like I'm not taking any crap at all. You want this to be very, you, I mean, you got confidence here. So you might be confident that you're, it's almost like you're just waiting for this person to confess their emotions for you. But it does look like you're willing to give this a chance. If you're looking for a reconciliation, this is happening. This is not a third party, though. For sure not a third party. This is just somebody that might act, uh, you know, like uh, the, they, instead of asking you, should we do this or that? They make decisions by themselves. It's like they need to learn how to work together, pull together, not be selfish, not work alone, take the help if need be. But this looks really nice. So we have Justice, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, yeah. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. What a beautiful reading, guys. Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Heavily, but all signs and soulmate. And that Two of Cups also can be. There is some goodies for you guys. I like it. Let's see what that person I'm going to have to say. Okay. Those in connection or mediocre disconnection. I'm coming back. Don't give up on us. I wish I knew how you really feel. Singles, I do, I can, I will. Oof. Then you got, let's do something we've never done before. So very excitement. Woo! Guys, I like it. All right, my Leos, that's what we have for you. On we go. Virgo's question of the day. One habit that you would give up. One habit, what would you give up? Elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Source. How do we have, okay, these... We're trying to come out. Hanged man. Ooh. Well then. Okay. Watching you from afar. Waiting. This person is curious about you. Source, do we have two? Reversed? Yes. No. Okay. One person. Very interested in getting to know you, but a little bit intimidated. So they're holding back. They do want to date you. What's holding them back? They're just waiting for the ships to come in. I feel like they're just a little intimidated. I'm not sure if you're interested. What do you think of this person? Nine of coins, queen of swords. Okay, you might think that they're a little bit immature because it's like you're really maintaining your independence here and going, I'm really serious because I'm good by myself. If you don't put work into it, this is like a no-go. But otherwise, it does look like if they respect your boundaries and actually communicate like an adult, that would be a go. Otherwise, not so much. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we have, I'm trying to be optimistic, I'm trying just to let things go, all right, three of cups, okay, this person wants to come clean with you, they want to talk this out, they want to, you know, tell you, they know that you're defensive, but they're still interested in trying to work things out, this is like, I will respect your boundaries, I get it, I fucked up. It's like the truth caught up with them and they're coming clean. Your thoughts. Ten of coins. Ten of coins. And then you got the, yeah. You do feel like they're a little bit spontaneous and a little bit, you're a little bit edgy towards them. So it's like, you know, I have the idea that you were planning to come back anyway. <laughs> One more. But you want them to put work into it. So it's like, we're going to start small and we'll see how it goes. You still feel an abundance with that person, but you're not going to let on to it. It's like, I you I already knew that you were coming back. So it doesn't surprise you one damn bit. But sevens are assessments, so it's something you do have to think about. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, the Magician. Three of coins. I would like to work this out with you. I want to get together. Ooh, lovers. Well then. What do you think of this person? All right. That's a turn and back around. It's like you're bringing the baggage with you. You better be willing to put some work into it. This is somebody that you do miss, but... You still want an opportunity here. That or you can be starting completely over. It does look like they're coming knocking anyway. This is, I mean, this can be them coming knocking or you're just turning in a different direction completely and saying, I'm done with this shit and looking for something better. You could have already opened communication with somebody else. Let's clarify. Reconciliation reversed. It is reconciliation. So giving them the opportunity to show you, but you got to start from ground zero and work it way back up. This person's really putting a lot of work and effort into this. Yes. So respecting boundaries, but that looks like a good chance for reconciliation. 
Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Okay. I think you got a secret crush here. I really want to date you. I am not telling you yet because I'm nervous. However, I have a lot to offer. King of Coins is realistic. They date with intention of long term. You're hopeful. Ooh. Like it. One more. I mean, Aquarius, but you're going, oh, I like you. And I like the way you make me feel. So I'm waiting for them to come your direction, but you're definitely feeling like, yeah, you want to take it slow, but it sure the hell looks nice. Reliability. This is a new connection. This feels very good. Daydreaming about them, making you feel good. Wow. Growing emotions. I feel like they have a secret crush. I also, also, also feel that you already know this. So it's like, it's not as secret as they think it is. All right, let's get a clean deck. Okay, Virgos, nice energy. You have the overall energy of the world. New chapter or closing an old one. But it's like a new sense of freedom, happy endings possibly, but personal freedoms, wholeness, new direction, success. Kind of the deck you have temperance. It's like taking your sweet ass time and not in any hurry. And that can be a... Sagittarius coming your way, or we could also have a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This is having your balance and jumping into something new. This looks exciting. What's coming towards my single source? Let's get excited. What do we got? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. This person wants you to open up. They, they're not sure exactly if you're interested, but they're looking, they're thinking about something long-term. They also may not have brought this up with you yet. The Four of Pentacles is kind of keeping it to themselves, holding it in, not saying too much, but deep down inside, they don't really want to let go of the thought of being with you yet. Well, let's see what we have for feelings. Any feelings? Okay, Two of Cups. Yeah, I'd say so. They are wondering, though, if you're even going to be interested. Because the Queen of Swords, they might feel like you are a bit hard to please or hard to approach. See what you think of this person. Oh, I think you're interested. Okay. Why the Knight of Wands? Or one more for Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords. So this looks like a breakthrough. You also got the King. I feel like the two of... You got a pair here, first of all. This is a breakthrough. So it's like, are you going to... This is like, are you going to put the brakes on? Because I want you to take me seriously. They damn well know it. How does this move forward? How does this move forward? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This looks like your intentions both are, you're a lot more guarded, but both are decent. Oof, nice. Four of Wands. Holy crap. And they're all upright. Okay, very passionate, sexually interested, taking their approaches, feeling like they're very persistent. A major change, take my ass seriously or else. So you are being, not bitter, just a bit... Very to the point, okay? It's like, this is how, you take me seriously. Take me seriously. And you mean it. You're, you know, putting up, this is what I will not tolerate. You're really letting them have it. And they do feel like you're hard to approach. But you got the soulmate card here with the four of wands. So it's stability, new connection. You got the cherry at the bottom of the deck. A lot of willpower, a lot of optimism, determination. Nice. All right, the X's thoughts. Boom. Okay. Okay, well, um, I think they're done. You have death and the tower. Done and donner. Their feelings for you. All right. They may feel... Ah, let's clarify that Knight of Swords. Because I'm wondering if they took off. Yeah. Okay. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Seriously. What was the blockage here? What was the blockage here? 
There's the chariot and the ace. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So they're seeing somebody else. Fuck them. They're staying right where they are at. They're not reaching out. They're not nothing. They made an option of you. They're done and doneer. They're starting over. When we say blockage, this is a candy ass that went the wrong damn direction. You could have told them to fuck off and that you didn't want to have anything. This is your blockage here. Taking their dipstick elsewhere. Something that wasn't growing anyway. A lot of instability. Feeling torn in two. No focus. Lost control. Started seeing somebody else. It was spontaneous as hell. They're staying right where they're at. They're not making any contact, any nothing. Seems like they incidentally fell into a vagina or onto a penis. How do you see this person? You don't have any faith that this is going anywhere. You know what they did. Because that's new love. That also can be that you are looking at something new. That you have your eye on someone else. One more for the ace. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like you're moving into a different direction. You have the sun. I mean, you might be going, woohoo! You know, I mean, I really feel like you read them out, told them the hell off. But this seems like you're curious about somebody and trying to get to know somebody else. So it can be new love moving your direction. This is also self-love. And I think a hell of a lot more than myself to tolerate this shit. I'm putting more work into a new chapter very optimistic and it can be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you're looking at Got the nine of cups hanging out with the seven of pentacles that's wish fulfillment and just starting out a budding relationship so this seems like there's no love law done and done but they're never going to change okay I mean death here is the ending but it's also somebody that doesn't change and with the tower that's one hell of an abruption very painful and very fast major ouchie i don't i think it you know hurt you but you're moving beyond it with the self care and the new connection possibly i don't feel like you planned it that way i feel like it just kind of incidentally fell into your lap like oh well okay maybe i mean this is pursuing a new chapter and putting work into something. So it's like, this feels like it could work out. I'm concentrating on my happiness. Can be a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aquarius in here, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Heavy Scorpio. This over here is beautiful. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. You shall be taken seriously. I will be taken seriously. All signs are in here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. New connection. Take my ass seriously or else. All right, let's see what that person has to say. Source. New person. If only I could see you again. I'm curious to know more about you. Well, they might have already met. I make decisions from my ego, not my higher self. They're an asshole. And then we have, I love you and your level of patience with me. Yeah, I don't think so. One more for the X. My head is in the clouds. I'm living in a fantasy world. See, they just, they just constant, can't snap. All right, but this one here, after meeting you, after seeing you, they want this also can be somebody that you do work with, with the pentacles being in there. It doesn't have to be. But if only I could see you again. I want to be the best version of myself first before I give you my love. Nope, I feel like this is definitely rent landed right. All right, that's what we have for you, my Virgos. On we go. Wookie crew. Libra. All right. If you had one habit that you had to get rid of, what would it be? Elemental quickies. We're dealing with Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Went flying all over the... Okay. Well, let's see why. All right. This person's ticked off. They are not happy. But they're being emotionally cold. Why the tower? Well, it looks like they got their ass into their own problem. 
What's the black edge? <laughs> they walked away. This is somebody that turned their eye and went a different direction. They could be waiting for, you know, somebody to be freed up or become single, etc. But they walked away from you. That's somebody that's not reliable, headstrong, very headstrong. But if the blockage is the Ace of Wands, they were doing somebody else, the horizontal mambo. <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I know exactly what I want. I have assessed the situation. I have made a determination. Is that right? I want a big change. One more. All right. Four of Cups. One more. Why the Four of Cups reverse? This is like they're... They're not happy about the ending between the two of you. This is somebody that's done some reassessing their life and they want to try to make things work. This is regaining interest, reconsidering, more optimistic. How do you see this person? Coming back around. One more. How you see them? It would make you feel good. But you do need to think about it. You got the two of wands. It's like, I'm going to make a choice. This is not just the sure thing, though. So it's like, I'm thinking about it. But it is bringing two things together. Focusing on one item. So it's like, you may have thought you were going one way. And then, oh, maybe they're coming back. You got the nine of cups. So this can be your wish fulfillment that they come back. But this is looking like a big change. Not being happy with the results that they had gotten because of not changing. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ace of coins. I want to offer. Ooh, I want to offer. All right. This person wants to offer a lot. Oh my, justice right underneath of that. You get the ten of coins and justice at the bottom of the deck. This is long-term abundance. This person can be financially well off, but they want something very generous and for true. They want somebody that takes you know strong accountability for their actions, but that has a strong character. This person definitely is the one that follows the norms and values, and they're looking for a commitment eventually. They're putting a move on you. Ooh, it can be a Libra, Leo, or a Taurus. Let's see what you think. Bring it on, baby. You're determined. You feel optimistic about this. Feel like it's heading in the right direction. And it feels like a big change that goes well. You are sexually interested in this person. You also feel they're very persistent. So, I mean, this is nice. Looks good. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got the King of Wands. Two more. Okay. Here comes that abundance and justice. So, again, very passionate about chasing you. Wanting something long-term. Like, they're not messing around. Let's see what you think of them. King of Coins. Ooh. Well, you're not messing around either. You're like, I'm dating for long-term intention, and that's what it is. So if you want to bring this together, as long as it's reliable, it is something that you'd work on. Threes are expansion. You could meet this person amongst people, um, a gathering, something that you're enjoying that's a celebration. But this looks really, really nice. You get the three. It's like, I would put my share of the work into this. You seem reliable. Taking it slow is okay with me. It's beautiful energy. And it does seem like they're going to be chasing you because they're very interested. Okay, then. Well, 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 Libras. Let's get a clean deck. All right, Libra, you have the overall energy of the Libra. sun. So it can be a Leo coming your direction, but this is a lot of optimism. And the optimism can be growing. So you can have an interest in somebody it looks like some communication that you're looking forward to is coming in. All right. Single source. Who's coming towards our singles? Okay. Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This 
person's intentions. Intention. Ooh. Well then. Now, you can meet this person at a gathering. But the, there's the page. They are interested in getting to know you better. They're very curious. They're kind of romancy. It can be a secret crush. One more for the ten. Okay. Yeah, they, they definitely are trying to get your attention. It's like, hello, 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 hello. All right. Let's see what you think of this person. That person can also be like, I'm looking for dating with the intention of long term. And boy, you really are turning my head. I'm in it to win it. All right. Do you think they're very persistent? Not pushy, but ooh. But you're taking them. It's, you got a 10 and they have a 10. This looks like both of you have the same intentions, but you're kind of going, I am sexually interested. However, only if you're going to put the brakes on and stick around. So flirty messaging. One more. Forward movement. Oh, yeah. Go for it. A big go for it. A big, big go for it. Can be a Gemini, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. This is saying I'm ready for a new chapter. Clear communication, a bond, a soulmate, potentially. This feels beautiful. And they are definitely acknowledging you, hoping that they're very confident, but they're hoping for good news. They're wanting to have, confessing their emotions, wanting to have a relationship. Bottom of the deck, you have the fool. That's new dating. Spending time together, seeing how things go. Ooh, what's the ex thinking? Source, what is the ex thinking? Okay. They're out of here. This is somebody that acts like an asshole. Very headstrong. Not supportive when they need to be. Zero patience. It's like, oh, bro, are you mad? Why are you so pissy? Oh. <laughs> because you lost that love and feeling. They feel taken advantage of. So they're being quiet. They also could be thinking about how they took you for granted. What's the blockage? Page of Swords. Reverse would be talking shit behind your back or a third party, but not very nice intention. One more for blockage. Queen of Swords. I'm sorry that that's an emotional manipulator. That person is very, very, very shitty. Shitty, cold, insensitive. And they could have been talking crap behind your back. That page of swords can be a third party. But it can be somebody that's very close-minded, resentful, pissed off, hostile, needing to have a lot less attitude and very deceptive. Can be just gossip. But when we reverse those, no. <laughs> just no. Possibly accusing you, denying any feeling. They're just holding a grudge, being vindictive. Your thoughts, King of Cups. So you're using your head and your heart. You're trying to be logical. One more. I feel like you're disappointed in this person. Or it's like, you know, I showed you a lot of love. But you are remaining single. This is like, I'm good. You feel like you gave them everything. Then you got the Queen of Cups reversed. You disappointed the shit out of me. There's the emotional manipulation as well. Somebody that things were never quite good enough for. They could have gone back to an ex. But they thought they got away with it. And you're basically saying, yeah, really not so much. You have death and justice at the bottom of the deck. Kind of like all's well that ends well, fucker. Because, you know, have that person. I'm done. You also could be like, I'm done. And guess what? I'm moving on to something better. Oh, yeah. With a hell of a lot more reliability. So, incidentally, 
you could have somebody new coming your direction that's willing to put a lot of work into a connection, knows what the hell they want. They're not confused. But that also can be saying, take your karmic shit and go. Because you don't have the same feelings for this person anymore. The optimism, I feel, is you going, it's over. You know, I don't, I don't have to deal with this anymore. This is done. I don't have to feel this way anymore. And incidentally, I'm good. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're you're just, it's like there is no love loss here at all. They could have been confused by their emotions, but I do feel like they took you for granted, took advantage of you, and they know it. Lesson learned a little too late. So they're withdrawing, you know, going backing off into a corner, acting like they're the wounded animal, and they're not. They're an asshole. So it can be somebody new coming your direction. The Queen of Cups reversed is very disappointed, acting out could be extremely moody and I really feel like you're going you never change I was looking for true love I gave you everything and it was never enough so no this feels very done too many unknowns here they could have gone back to an ex-boyfriend girlfriend but you don't have any trust for them so we have Pisces Aries Leo Sagittarius Cancer Scorpio Pisces Scorpio Virgo Aries Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Virgo, I'm sorry, Gemini. You got singles? Beautiful. And even those that are wondering what the X is up to, it does look like it's almost like just a reinforcement that you did the right thing. You did the right thing. You did the best thing for yourself. And that something is coming more balanced and more. It might take time to come. But when it does, it's going to be somebody that you can actually trust. So Libra also. Let's wow. see what that person would say. All right. Source. Singles. Mm, crepes. I send you messages through music. Have you been noticing any lyrics lately? Oh, it's a swoony one. <laughs> That yeah, it's called romantic. <clears throat> Do you understand that? Oh, look at the X here. I'm not yours and you're not mine. One more for singles. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Okay. What? I love the way you look at me. Your eyes are hypnotizing. Ooh, mercy. A romantic one. No mercy for the wicked. Trust my actions, not my words. Yeah, that's definitely your ex. All right, but singles, oof, hot to trot. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you. On we go. Scorpio, question of the day is if you had to give up a habit, name the habit you would give up. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Two of Cups and the Magician. Ooh, this person wants to put the moves on you. They're manifesting you. They are definitely interested in connecting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One more. Ooh, baby. Ooh. I said, ooh, they feel like you're a little bit confrontational. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Because they have their headset so straight on you. So it does feel like they need to convince you, but they're up for the task. Let's see what you think of them. They're feeling optimistic. Opti <laughs> they're very optimistic. I feel like you're a little hard to approach, but you do feel like this person is a decent person. Doesn't necessarily mean you're interested, though. What else have we got? Three Pentacles. You'll give it a try. We might be able to get on the same page. I will take you around the block for test drive. You want to get to know them better. So you are very sexually interested, but you're using your intuition. It's new dating. It's new dating. And you're kind of like, we'll see. We'll see. They're really putting the moves on hardcore. It does seem like they're approaching you and they're kind of like, you might ignore them the first time that they try and you're like, whatever. But they, <laughs> they're they not going to stop. This is somebody very persistent. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Can I come back? Well, you're bringing baggage with you. Two more. 
Five of Swords. They'll fight for it. Ooh. This person's got a twisted way of wanting to come back. One more. One, two, three, four. I want to come back. I want to come back. I will fight for this. One more for the Five of Swords. Because that's argumentative low blows. Four of Pentacles. They feel like you are just closed off. They want a second opportunity. Why do they want to come back so bad? To show you that they can be more reliable. Because they don't want to be single. I'd be careful. I'm really kind of feeling that this person's money orientated. And they might be a little bit on the codependent side. What do you think of them? Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Wands. One more. Okay. I think you're going to take the bait. I really do. You got the Queen of Wands here. This is acknowledging, you know, they're chasing you. You're putting up very clear boundaries, but you do feel like this person is actually going to change. And you do feel like you can get over this this bur burden, this, this hump, this block in the road. So it's like confessing emotions, but both feel confident that you can get. This is good news to you. To you. I'm not so sure about their their intention. One more. One more. Be careful. You might end up with the same damn thing. Don't kiss this person's ass. Okay? Because I feel as optimistic as you are, you might end up in the same spot, not wanting to choose to cut this out. So make sure that, you know, make them work for it before they're allowed back in the house. Because you got the hangman here. It's like, is this going to be a waste of my time or not? I feel like you go into it with really good intentions and really excited about it. And then suddenly you go, okay, what here the come the old ways. Again? This person's procrastinating on what they're supposed to be doing. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of Swords reversed. Five of Wands reversed. Willing to compromise, but feeling like you have released them, that you've let go. They want to break through. They want to clear the air with you. This might be somebody that's trying to come up with a way, you know, how to come at you. They're optimistic. They're thinking very positively. Mm. Your thoughts. Please go the fuck away, player. Okay, you still are interested but you're not sure. It's like, I need a little bit more time. I just kind of want, I, you're kind of just distancing and making them wait. Good for you. You are attracted to them. What's the outcome here? I'm nosy. He says, that's why I end up with five over. Y you are interested. You want them to love you again. You aren't over them. So this does have a chance and it does look like a turnaround. Trying to work the bugs out of this connection they're willing to compromise earnestly willing to compromise this is th this could have been the time that you had apart from them this hermit energy here really going within thinking about what you want trying to get answers for yourself but you're making them wait good for you i like it but it does look like starting up again that also can be i love myself enough but you're making the right choice for you so I feel like they're, you know, you drop them like it was hot or they feel like you just completely released everything. But they're going to try again. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. We have the Eight of Wands. Ooh. Here I come. This can be online dating. This person wants something stable. They're looking at you extremely lusty, and I say that because we have the devil. I think they're very smitten with you and lusty passion. Lust, lust, okay? Wanting to put the moves on you. They feel like it's heading in the right direction for something stable. You got the six of pentacles. I feel like this person would be even, fair, have abundance to give. What do you think of them? What do you think of them? Eight of Pentacles. Really putting work into it. Ooh. Could go into love. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mufasa. 
They make you feel a little bit restless, but you got the King of Wands. You are interested. You are interested. However, is this too reversed? Yes. No, it's not. It's not. You are definitely being smart about this, but you are very interested. There's the sun. Optimism. I feel like you're waiting for them to come to you because they're really pushing this forward. It's they, nice. Very lusty, passionate. But they know when to hold back too, okay? Because strength is holding back, having courage. And the devil's like, ha ha, I want to jump your bones right now. You're kind of there too, but you're making sure that you use your head and that this person is emotionally mature. And it sure looks nice. Okay, let's get a clean deck, Scorpio. All right, Scorpios, you have the overall energy of the Empress. That's abundance, that's intuitivity, that's a lot of things. But it looks like somebody or you want somebody's attention. The Empress waits for somebody to come to her or him. Keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be a male, but can be a Libra Taurus. And this is saying that something's progressing, moving forward, okay? Somebody getting your attention, getting the attention that is deserved, being acknowledged. And this also is, she knows, she's very intuitive. So this can be about some truth that's going to make you feel very, very good. However, natural instincts, all right? So let's see what we get. Source, she represents home. She is the mother of the deck. Singles, please. Who do we have coming towards our singles? All right. Can be a Libra. Hello, Justice. This is somebody that is thinking that you could be the right one for them. They want things that are balanced. Very sexually interested in you. <laughs> so their feelings are lust. They're thinking about being happy. This is somebody that's balanced. One more for feelings. Feelings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very lusty, passionate. All right, let's see what you think of them. Lusty, passionate. But the Empress gets respect. So, all right. You're going to make them wait for it a little bit. But you could be feeling like, well, how about, you know, how the hell long is this supposed to take? It's also a go for it when it comes to singles. Okay. And then you got the Fool here. So this is feeling like new dating. Let's see how this progresses and moves forward. All right, flopping out. Curiosity, getting to know them better. Sexually very curious. Bottom of the deck, we have the hair font. So this could go into a, a long-term connection. You have the Knight of Cups here with a cut. So interested in them romantically as long as they put the brakes on themselves. But coming in and it does look like you're making room for them in your life. You could be going back and forth. It also can be a connection that you've been kind of waiting for this person to, you know, waiting, 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 waiting. Finally, here it comes. But this is a big go for it. Feeling like there's a sense of decency here. Somebody that's supportive. Can be at a distance from you. But this looks really nice. So very, very lusty. Definitely got their eyeball on you. Woo. And they're all up bright. All right. What's the X thinking? The X to the X to the X. Holding on. They'll be trying to hold on too tightly to memories of you. They sure are. <laughs> what are their actual feeling source? Actual feelings. All right. They feel like you are the mega bitch. And they're thinking that being single right now is probably a good idea. Why do we have the queen of swords? Why the queen of swords? All right. They might feel like it's just time to move on because you're so... T what did they do? What's the blockage? What's the blockage? I don't know. There's a sense of not being com complete here. Like there have been obstacles. Something happened that had a bad outcome. They're not over what? One more. It could not maybe not been that over somebody else. I feel like they could have come clean with you. They also could have been busted. One more for the busted card. 
Yeah, I really feel like there's something that they're just holding back and emotionally being stoic about, feeling like it's none of your business type thing. So what are they really holding on to that's irritating the shit out of you? Because it's looking like they're going, I guess I'm just going to have to move on, move forward, acknowledging that this is just wrapping up a new chapter. They want to hold on to Now, this can be that somebody was in a third party and they're going back to somebody else. What is their action? Mm hmm So, missing you, but what? Self-love? Okay, you love yourself. Who are they offering that cup to? Chariot and the page. Okay, somebody else. I'm sorry, guys, but this is looking like they're going in a completely different direction, having a hard time walking away and making this choice, but I feel like they're going back to somebody else. Not that they don't think about you, but I feel like with you, they're just holding on and letting you hang. Like they're sacrificing the relationship with you to go back to somebody else that they had been in a long-term connection with. Could have been somebody with children with the page popping in there. What is your feeling about this person? How do you see them? Boom. Boom, digga, 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 boom, boom, boom. Over. Too much fucking work, too much grief, emotionally exhausted. Too many arguments, too much... Too much battle, jealousy, petty fights, bullshit, compromise. It's like you couldn't compromise and be the other person, so you just felt the need to walk away to something better. I, I really do feel like this person belongs to somebody else. I really do, and that they were in a connection that they bailed on, they abandoned, and now they're going to do the same shit to you because they want to go back to where the grass was greener. There's major stalemate here. There's major timeout. There's a no talking, blocking, and no movement. No movement at all. This person's just moving on to where the grass is greener, or so they think. But they, they're going to be bound anyway. They can be bound in a connection that they are in with somebody else. And they're, uh, <laughs> yeah, death, king of swords. Somebody got their ass chewed out. You were supposed to be a secret. This doesn't feel like you were supposed to be involved at all. You may not have even known this. Or they could have told you that they were leaving their home. And not so much. I feel like there was lies and, you know, uh-uh. So if you watch which you shouldn't because who gives a shit. But there is something better coming. This is almost like, you know, it was inevitable. It was meant to be. It was going to happen anyway. But what do we have that's moving forward for Scorpio after this Eight of Cups? Taking a break, taking things slow, trying to chill, finding somebody that's more balanced, somebody that's more giving and not breadcrumbing you. Mm -hmm. I really, this is really looking like this person is holding on to a long-term connection that they have, but it sure the hell is not with you. Uh-uh. This is missing. Uh-uh. No. Regrets. Chariot. Out. They are moving forward. There's no looking back. You damn well know it. This is too hard to take. You feel like you got, you know, friend zoned or you could be hearing through a friend what exactly happened or what the truth is. But they're being stoic and stubborn. I feel like the truth came out. They weren't over somebody else. And this was all because shit just wasn't going right for them that they were even using you as a pit stop. I hate saying it that way, but that's what it looks like. Holding on to the, you know, long term, knowing that you're going to be pissed off being left by yourself. No, oh, this looks like a happy horse shit story. So we have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Cancer. Not a very honest person. No. And fickle. I really feel like they're fickle as hell. I don't really know what they want. Libra, heavily. Taurus, heavily. Aries, Leo. And that good old sexy Capricorn devil. All right, let's get an answer and see what that person would say to you. All right. Those in disunion. Source. I'm so thankful I've met you. You're one in a million. Sometimes I'm self-centered because I wasn't loved as a child. Seems like they come up with excuses. Singles. Every time you cross my mind, my heart skips a beat. 
Here's one for, I'm feeling this is for you. All I desire is clarity. Let me know what's up. That's you going, why, what, you know, what the fuck is going on? And we also have, we have what it takes to go the distance, but it is feeling like long-term vibes. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I do feel like this person that you got caught up with wasn't completely ready to start anything up in the first place, which is kind of shitty. But that's what we have for you, my Scorpios. On we go. Sagittarius, question of the day is if you had to give up one habit, what would it be? Elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Six of Pentacles. Okay. They want you to give them an opportunity. Oh, sure do. This person is very passionate about you. Oh, my. Give me an opportunity. I will show you how balanced and fair I can be. Your thoughts. Let me get to know you better. <laughs> I love it. Let me get to know you better, but they're really putting the moves on. So you aren't interested. You want to make this happen. It does look like it would make you happy. Oh, my. They do boss up, by the way. So it's not a player. It's somebody that is very passionate, flirty. The chemistry is really there. And you're like, yes, but I want to learn more about you. So you're going to play a little more coy to it. I like it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, what do we bend? Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity, a gift. Creating. Ace of Wands, very sexually creating. A new growing connection. It's a lot of new, 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 new. And then you have Temperance. Yes, Temperance. It's not my typo, it's theirs. You got Judgment. This person's really serious about having an opportunity with you. Two Aces. They really want to stick around. They want to, temperance here would be getting to know each other, seeing how the two of you click, spending time together, trying to see, you know, how we balance each other out and waiting, you know, they're willing to wait for you. Oof. See what you think. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> A new chapter that you're interested in jumping into. Yeah. Chariot. Chariot and the Eight of Pentacles. You're working on moving forward with this person. Nice energy, guys. Likey, likey, very new. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. High Priestess reversed. Red flag. Beep, beep, beep. Red flag. Why? All right. This person could have made an option of you. When I see the lovers with the High Priestess reversed, I usually think that it's the other person and uh, disappointed you. Hmm. Made a choice. Now they know what they want. Now they know what they want. So what do they want? They want to put the baggage behind you. I'm sorry I made you feel like an option. I'm sorry I made you feel jealous. We can maybe try to work this out. I'll compromise. I'll meet you halfway. How do you meet halfway? Keep your zipper up with a lock on it? What the hell is that? How do you see this person? Sorry shit's not going so well for you. Not easy, might miss you, but I think I really got to turn my back on you. And you're letting them have it. You feel like they've been deceitful. You feel, you're just starting over. You're moving into a different chapter. You feel it's like, you know, shit didn't go so well here. This did not work out the way I wanted it to, but you're saying no. So yeah, I feel like they were hiding something from you. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Caps, King of Swords, Stern, wanting to be taken seriously, Eight of Pentacles, All right, somebody very serious about how much work they put into things, and the Three of Pentacles, can we try to work things out, can we give this a shot, they want to see if you can collab, they're very optimistic, you get justice, they might feel like you're a right one for them, daydreaming about you, what you think of them. You can have resting bitch face. Okay. You would be content. Get everything that you need. So that would be the, the last cup. King of cups. Ooh. That feels like growing emotions. So I'd say you're sexually interested. You get the queen of wands. They're definitely coming after and chasing you because the queen of wands doesn't have to. People pay attention to him or her. 
this is like, oh, hello. They see you as really outgoing. You see this person is a little bit more quiet and shy. Or very reserved and analytical, but smart and honest nonetheless. That looks nice. Okay. Let's get a clean deck, Saggies. All right, you guys have the overall energy of the chariot right underneath of there. You have abundance, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So it seems like you're heading towards something really good. And it feels like the right thing to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. So let's see what we get. Singles first, source. Can be a cancer coming your direction. Who is coming towards my singles? Four of Wands. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be meeting somebody at a party. This person can be older than you. Very much, uh, very smart, very wise, very more introverted, can be a little on the shy and quiet side, but this is somebody that likes to more so stay home. So kind of a homebody. They're a little more withdrawn. Very patient. All right. Their intentions. Ace of Wands. Okay. They want a new connection that buds and grows and they're interested in you. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Six of Pentacles. They want to get attention from you. They want an opportunity with you. They're very curious to get to know you. So flirty messages back and forth. Again, that person can be older. Let's see what you think of them. Doesn't have to be like, you know, in the grave. You want to get to know them better. So you're using your intuition. But you also have strength. So it's like holding back and making sure that you're waiting until the right time to offer the whole nine, you know, the whole nine yards. Cut of the deck, you have the fool. So I would say that you're interested in this. Right underneath of that, we have the king of cups. So feeling like you're using your head and your heart. But the chariot, onward we go. Dependable, reliable, optimistic, a lot of willpower. You go. Wow. Beautiful energy for new dating. They are all upright, by the way. Beautiful. You do want to get to know that person better. And it is new. So you're not pouring your entire heart in until you spend more time with them and see you know, what they're all about. But the four of wands can mean that this person's looking for something long term. Like they have one hell of a backbone. All right, the X. What's the X thinking? What's the X thinking? Queen of wands. And the magician. Okay, there are feelings for you. King of Wands. Ooh, ooh, one more. It's a lot of passion. And the Five of Swords. They feel like, oh, who's she ought? Why do we have the Five of Swords? Because that's deceit and lies and bullshit. Walking away. No humility at all in this person. The moon. Hidden, hidden agenda. Okay, what's the blockage? Two of Cups. This disconnection was because they ended it to be with somebody else. Yeah, not reliable, not... I mean, we're basically flipping them all. They could have been not been over somebody from their past, but if they're breaking things off with you and here's how they had to act, like a manipulating asswipe. You got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Does this person ever stick around real long? Because it's not looking like it. If they're putting the moves on the Queen of Wands and they're feeling about you is the King of Wands. Yeah, they really poured it on thick and then they lied to you, deceived you, and they've got secrets. How do you see this person? Ugh, you're ticked. You don't want to talk to them. You like stay where you're at with your karmic connection. feelings don't want to talk to you and you're trying to heal so i feel like you're turning your back turning your back not looking at them not dealing with anything doing some self-love you got your honesty you got your clarity if you haven't you will be soon and you know your value and your worth so using your intuition there's somebody better coming look at that the emperor and the empress Mm -hmm. not this person do you see love in here uh-uh because basically we've flipped this we have deception and lies we have deception and lies we have a i'm the shit i'm the bomb i'm putting the moves on whoever the hell i want to constantly moving forward nobody's putting any brakes on this person they're it's like they're a coach surfer they're constantly jumping from place to place let somebody else have the baggage 
So we have Sagittarius, and this is looking like there was major delays anyway. So you could have been questioning, but you don't really want to talk to them. It's like, this is at a slow down standstill. I really don't want to talk to you. You could have blocked them, but it seems like you're being emotionally wise and not getting your heart involved in it anymore. You're both irritated, but they, with blockage, acted out in a very manipulative way. Shitty with communication, always looking for conflict, almost like they wanted you to break up with them so that it would make it easier. Mm -hmm. But they caused this breakup so that they could go in a different direction. They're an asshole. Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Taurus, Aries was in there as well. Aries heavily, we have Cancer, Leo, Pisces, Virgo. This looks nice for you singles. Passion, passion, but budding and growing emotions and creativity and wanting a relationship that is fun and looks nice. All right, let's see what that person would say to you. Ooh, one hit the floor. Oh, no, it didn't. Let's see what fell out. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. I fantasize about a future with you often. This is what fell into the cart. There you go, singles. All right. Two for the macho person. My ex is spiteful and trying to ruin my life. Ugh. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Other people have their eyes on me. I, see, I think they're just constantly looking for different potential. Constantly looking for the next, next, the next. And blaming it. Always blaming it on somebody else. I can. I do. I can. I will. Very, <laughs> they know what they want. They're smart. Okay, my saggies, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Capulets. Question of the day. If you had to give up one habit, what would it be? All right, elemental quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius source. Okay, that was quick. Six of swords. Wanting to move into clearer waters. Six of Cups. Okay, still thinking about you. Can we leave the past behind you? This is somebody that wants to take accountability. They know that you're irritated and very much guarding your heart. How do you see this person? We have the Four of Cups reversed. You might, you might be getting somebody else's attention, but you could also be regaining interest and be more optimistic. Let's get a little more here. Ace of Swords, Clarity, Honesty, a Breakthrough, and then Temperance, Spending Time. Okay, this is working out the bugs. Working out the bugs. Mm -hmm. Temperance is possibly a reconciliation, but this is coming clean. Coming clean, a big communication, a big change. You are saying there has to be a big change. Can be a Sagittarius, Libra as well. But this is looking like spending time together, trying to work out the bugs and seeing if you two can actually make it work. Can you make it work? Because this is looking like if we leave the baggage behind us, because they can't stop thinking about you, you might be regaining interest. There might have been enough time that you've cooled your jets a little bit. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, we have four swords reversed. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. All right, I feel like this person's going back and forth in their mind, and if they should come your direction or not. It's like they feel stuck, but at the same time, they're restless to get moving here. Why the Eight of Swords? King of Swords. They want you to take them seriously. What do you think of this person? Take me seriously. The magician. Powerful. Pushy, maybe. Hangman. You feel like they kind of wasted your time, though. There's a sense of not being able to quite trust them. It's like, eh, kind of avoiding this. Could have put you in some jealousy. Eight of Pentacles. Well, that's kind of like you wasted your time putting work into this. So, um... <laughs> you have the five of wands. It's like drama, bickering, jealousy. 
isolation. You're being just as snippy and to the point as they are. Where does this go? Ace of Cups. You might give this person an opportunity, but you now are you holding on too tightly? Because this can be that you're keeping it to yourself that, you know, I also might be saying no because there's something new coming in, but you still have feelings for this person. This looks like battle of the wits, battle of the wills, not wanting any more drama, letting them have it, but they feel stuck on you. They could have juggled you, but you're saying this is going to have to be different. The four of coins, it's like um, you're controlling the situation. You're holding it in. This could end up being a missed opportunity if the conversation doesn't go well. Kind of iffy there. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sorks. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Cups. I have a crush on you. Can be younger than you as well. Three of Swords. Are they healing... Or are they wanting to come back and apologize? They want to talk. Okay, this is somebody that you've already dealt with. Wanting to, I mean, try to heal the connection. This can be a little apology. See what you think. What do you think? Five of Cups. You do miss them. Six of Wands. You want their attention. You want things to go better. But you're just guarded. So they'd really have to be convincing. This also can be that you didn't expect them to come back your way. Nine of Pentacles is getting your independence. Making sure that you're good financially. Being a little bit defensive here. A little bit afraid of jumping in. Not taking any shit. I mean, no no push you, you know. Not sure of what you're getting into. So kind of iffy because it's like, yeah, I do miss you. But I might just be having to let this go on. But at the same time, you want to be acknowledged by this person. It also can be you saying, um, no, and I'm moving on because somebody else is paying attention to me. So take it however it resonates, but it does look like this person wants to talk. Can be at a distance from you, but this is like, can we heal the situation? You're kind of iffy again, that iffy, iffy feeling. Because I'm feeling you might be talking to somebody else. And watching them, waiting for your ships to come in. Yeah, there could be another person involved here. But just like the beginning stages, okay? Which would make that person possibly a little defensive too. Like, are you going back to your ex? Or what's going on here? All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Can be work-related. That is Abundance. Hermit. All right. A little withdrawn, staying home. This is kind of a home body that likes to have a sense of security. Knight of Wands, very curious sexually though. So this is somebody that sticks around. This is this is somebody that doesn't waste your time. They're very optimistic, daydreaming about you. Could be making promises about the future. Oof. See what you think. Can be financially well off. I'm just putting that there because that 10 is abundance. You're willing to give this person the opportunity. They seem to be very generous, paying attention to you. Okay, and then you got the Knight of Pentacles, but you want to take it slow. Make sure that they're reliable, methodical. Yeah, but you got the devil at the bottom of the deck. So you you are interested, but you want to get to know them better. It's like I I just I need to know all your fucking secrets. Here's your resume. Here's your, you know, fill out your resume, fill out your application and triplicate and hand it in at the office. But you are sexually interested in this person. There's a lust here wanting to check them out, feeling like they're generous, reliable. They could be you, uh, the type of person that works a lot, but they are very much coming in with a lot of hope. Oof, can be a Virgo heavily, heavy on that Virgo. All right, so let us get a clean deck. Okay, my happy cappy. So if you're single, this means the emperor can mean that you have somebody coming in that has the attributes of all four kings, but it's an Aries, potentially not necessarily an Aries coming your way, but somebody very potent, strong, stable. The emperor likes foundation. This also can be you stronging arm somebody for an opportunity, but there's a big choice, okay? Big decision, big, uh, big you know, like, ooh, 
If I go this way, this happens. And, you know, so a big decision to make. Important. Single source. Who's coming towards our singles? All right. Page of Cups. Somebody with a crush on you. And wanting a breakthrough. So they're coming your way like, I will date you. <laughs> they're very logical, smart. Their interest, their intention. Intention. There's judgment. Give me an opportunity. This oof. And then temperance. Can be said, Sherry's. Spend time with me. Let's see if we can work this out. This is intimacy and a new connection. Judgment can be as well. What do you think of this person? Honest and for true. Can be younger than you. All right. You got the Wheel of Fortune. It seems like you just became readily available for dating them. So it's like, that's also the potential of a new connection. You got the Nine. You're a little bit guarded. You want to get to know them better. But the last one that's wanting to come out here is the sun. So you're optimistic to check them out. That's learning about this person. The page of coins is the learning card. This is being a little apprehensive and guarded, but still having the courage to give it a shot. It's like it's new territory. I'll give this a shot. A little anxious, so it can be hmm, nervous like they Twitter page you, but feeling like it was good luck to have met, met them. So you want things to go well you don't want thing you know you're a little apprehensive but almost in a in a good way until you get to know them better they make you a little nervous i don't feel like that's anything terrible just a little nervous getting your balance all right source the x what are they thinking the lovers and the six of cups all right their feelings how are they feeling? Page of Wands, one more. And the Hermit. Okay, so they're withdrawn from you. Page of Wands, yeah, who are they curious in? Why do we have, what's the blockage? They didn't do wrong. They lied about being single. This is somebody that's codependent. I feel like they're not over you, but they're, they're, mm -mm. they put you in a third party situation. Any of these are basically reversed when we say what's the blockage. Lies and bullshit. Saying that they're not single. The world, you know, feeling insecure, unmet dreams, delays, failed attempts. Three of Cups reverse is potentially a breakup. And with the pay, if they're not talking to you, they're talking to somebody else. Not that they don't think about you with this, but they might be ready to make new memories with somebody else. Yeah. They're trying to make something work and collaborate something else. They're they're distancing themselves from you. The hermit withdrawn. No hurry. Looking for answers about somebody new. Or shit. How do you see this person? Come here. Where did it split? Eight of Cups. I don't want your drama. I don't want your bullshit shit. I'm sick of your lies and crap. I'm walking away from this. I'm looking for something better. You're like, I had some doubts here anyway. There is no love lost here at all. You abandoned and hurt me. Mm -mm. You're having a hard time getting over this. Ten of Swords. But it's like it's time to heal, figure out a way how to pick up your pieces and move on. Forgive and move on. It's time to overcome, okay? Seven of coins is like, ugh, now I got to do this. Now I have to start over. Now I don't feel like that because this person, they, it was time to emotionally walk away, find something better that fulfills you. This person was an emotional manipulator and they're looking at collabing and working together with somebody else. They did you wrong. That's somebody that doesn't take accountability for their actions either consequences it's all on you know it's all on them they're bitter they might act like N it's not how it went down very stoic i feel like they walked away from you or you could have caught them in the act because this can be oh, hey karma buddy you know chicky poo whichever it is but the nine of coins reverse basically is saying that this person could have been extremely codependent. I was looking for somebody to take care of them, never satisfied, but they're in, they always feel inferior, a user. If 
financially or emotionally. So we have Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Heavy, Libra. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the world. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini. I feel like they made a choice and it was not necessarily good or bad because if this is the type of person that's going to keep doing this kind of crap in their life you want more stability than that Th that that's a choice they made a choice to go a different direction and might have been doing you a favor you might take your little ass and go on over here because this is looking like an opportunity that could go right here it's like i'm just becoming ready to date again i'm looking for this new opportunity i've worked on some healing but i'm still a little bit guarded i'm a little bit anxious Still healing, a little apprehensive. But this is honest and for true. This is somebody that wants a breakthrough with you. So temperance, judgment is bringing that, bringing it up with you. Let's see if I missed any Aries, Gemini, but no, they're all in here. Okay, let's see what they would say to you. Over singles. Mm, I love the way you look at me. Your eyes are hypnotizing. And the X. I'm at a fork in the road. No matter which way I go, it will always lead to you. Yeah, don't let them come back. I want you. Don't worry about who wants me. I want you. One more for those in disconnection. I love you and your level of patience with me. Yeah, that's gone. I make decisions from my ego, not my higher self. This person's shallow. Shallow. Have you guys seen the movie Shallow Hell? <laughs> they're at a fork, all right, but they already made a decision which fork and which road they're taking. All right, my happy cappies, that's what we have for you. On we go. Aquarius, question of the day. You have to give up one habit. What would it be? Elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius source. Okay. Ooh. Can we get together? Make things work? This person's given us a lot of thought. So this feels like there had been a problem. They were seeking answers about themselves. This really, if there had been a disunion, it's really got nothing to do with you. You also could be meeting this person out amongst friends, something at a celebration. Your thoughts. Oh, you're not over this. So we're saying X. This is, I want to come back. I want contentment. But you also want them to be a decent person. You got the Hierophant and the Devil. So it feels like you're a little obsessed with this person or thinking that they had done something toxic. They could have put you in a third party, but I'm feeling more like they want to get back together, make this work, try to get on the same page with you. You're not over it. You want them to come back and you want to be happy. You're one cup short of bliss. So this is something that would make you content, but they need to get their shit together. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. A little crushy, crushy emotions. This person's dead set on this. Very willful. Let's get one more. Like there is no other option. All they see is you. Knight of Pentacles. Nice. So slow, methodical. It's like wanting to talk to you, showing you a little bit of romance, and then, ooh, no, I really dig you. This is somebody that is stable, very chill, very determined, and likes to plan their future. Let's see what you think of them. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about you too. Ooh, you got the King of Pentacles that came out with it. I feel like they have a lot to offer. Sexually interested. Oof. Look at this. The Seven of Pentacles, giving this a chance, seeing where it goes, putting those seeds in the ground, trying to let it grow. This is a major breakthrough, and it does look like it was like moving forward, being happy, content, bliss. Nice energy. Holy man, you had two that tried to be sly and sneaky. So this might take you by surprise just because of how those damn cards came out, but that looks nice. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. 
boom. This person feels hurt. They feel a big... They want to come in and talk, though. Why the eight? Why the eight? No, thank you. I'm sorry, but this person put... No, red flags. Red. 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 No, 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 no. Why the three? This person's not reliable. I feel like they're going to try to manipulate you to take them back. They want to talk, but they cause potentially a third party. The Knight of Cups reverse would tell you almost anything that you wanted to hear, but I feel like they're hiding somebody else. There's a major red flag with this person. How do you see them? Okay. You're doing the right thing for yourself. This is like, I give up on this shit. You got death here. So you're taking accountability. They need to as well. You're maintaining your independence. You, you, you could be feeling like, I'm staying by myself because I know I can rely on me. I'm done with you. This person's not changing. Mm -mm. I feel like you're working on healing. But that person really put a knife in your back. You busted them. They're busted. Busted. So let them have a little karma. I feel like the answer is like, no. Are you insane? And they're coming in really quick. Too quick. It's almost like, what? why are you coming in so quick? Why? Didn't work out with the other person? Mm-mm. Don't like it. No likey. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The moon. Full moon, no less. Pisces energy. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. This person might be very anxious, but now it can be somebody that you meet through work or in a group or gathering, but that's abundance. One more. Okay. Too many people up here. Way too much. Ten of Cups and the world. The, I feel like this person made an offer to somebody else and now they want to come back and they tried to hide that they were also sexually attracted to somebody else, but they have feelings for you. Can we get back together? Because <laughs> that's, I want to come back and try to make this work out. Your thoughts? No. No. No, 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 no. You feel like there's no stability? I don't feel like it, there would have to be a lot of compromising. You feel like this person pulled a lot of bullshit really quick and that they're not reliable. Cheat, emotional manipulator. You felt like there had been a, you thought this was going in the right direction, but it's like, uh uh, I see clearly what's going on here. There is no stability. I cannot rely on you. You close the door on this. You're disappointed, very disappointed. And this seems like it happened really quick, but you could sharply tell them to go fuck themselves. So you're moving on. Yeah, no cheaters, thank you. The moon. Yeah, they got reasons to be hiding their crap. Did they really think that you didn't know? Seriously. It's almost like they're crossing their fingers to try to get the opportunity just to talk to you. All right, you guys have the overall energy of the lovers. However, we also have the two. We're taking it out because I'm feeling very strongly that this could have been juggling. Let's hope not. Let's get a cut. King of Wands. Curious, a little pushy. That can be for singles. A lot of passion here. All right, let's see what we get. Let's start with singles. Source. Who is coming towards our singles? And intention. Who? Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So intention, they're dedicated. This is somebody that wants to show you how hard they can work. One more. Intention. They want to bring this together. You can meet them amongst a group. This was just for signs, so we're not too going to get too carried away. The Ten of Cups came out reversed. It can mean that they had a breakup recently. But how do they see Aquarius? Ooh, with a lot of hope and optimism. It, it, it does feel like... This is a new opportunity. That Knight of Wands here, a lot of passion, but daydreaming about you, wanting to bring things together. They want to show you dedication. This is somebody that is stable and actually takes a very clean approach. 
see what you think of them. Oh, you got the fool. Aries energy. Spending time with them has potential. Give it a chance and optimistic. So I do think that this person would make you feel happy. Nice. Movement forward. <laughs> okay. A lot of passion. You got three that came out. Really getting a lot of this person's attention. This person seems to be very hard working. Very wanting to this to grow and really showing you a lot of attention, a lot of affection. Um, that's happy screwing here too, but this is beautiful energy for singles. I like it. Okay. Let's see what we have for a disconnection. What is the ex thinking source? Ugh. Deceitful, walking away. One more. Drama bullshit. Two of cups. Their actual feelings. Sneakery fuckery and more. This person's got some whacked energy. I'm full of shit, but I still have emotions for you. Try to get away with one, but I'm still thinking about you. There is a major silence here. What is the blockage? What is the blockage? This person doesn't have your back. They don't put enough work into it. They released you because they're a candy ass. They like to blame other people. They don't focus on things. When push comes to shove, they get frustrated. One more the blockage. They're not over you, but the, you know, it's like how much work are they willing to put into it? It's like they, like you could have laid it all out on the line. This is the way things have to be. And this is blah, blah, blah. And they're going, well, I, I can't do all of that. It's like they can't focus on it. This is somebody that made you see clearly that there was a major frustration and delay here. You could have felt like this person was stringing you along. You have two tens. Both of those would be reversed. So it's not quite done. How do you see this person? Selfish and constantly worrying about what makes them happy. I mean, it's the wish card, but if you see them as the nine of cups, that's kind of a similar to, I want to be alone. Wants what they want. Very spoiled, greedy at times, but it's passion, not love and hurt, hurt, heartbreak. One more. And always defensive. How do you feel about them? You want to try to work things out. You need to be more of a team. But this is saying that you are trying to manifest a new beginning with this person. Why do we have the Seven of Swords? Because they their lies caused an ending here. Why do we have the Five of Swords? They lied about something. They were deceitful about something. See, it's like if you lie to the person that you care about the most, where is it going to really get you? Boom. That's where it gets you. This was like a rude awakening. I feel like this person was just lazy in this connection. They don't want to let you go. But at the same time, they're, they caused one hell of a shit show. Distracted. I feel like they've got... They have feelings for you. But they've got like emotional ADD. Not putting in enough work, not pulling their weight, and constantly acting shitty. And then you act shitty towards them. Fighting arguments, disputes, selfishness. I feel like this person needs to learn how to put more work into things. They still, you know, it's like, I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear you ask me to do that. Avoiding confrontation, trying to get away with shit constantly. It's like, are you five? But they cause this ending. Can be a Scorpio. They still have feelings for you. They still want to be with you. This is not somebody that treated you like an option. This is not a third party situation. But they are definitely self-ish. Where you feel like you were more selfless 
and you are trying to manifest. If this is your story, you're trying to manifest this bond back and get this person to put more work into it. Try to work with them. Bend like bamboo. How much are you really going to bend before you release this person again? Because if they don't come up to your level and put more work into it, because this is basically like I give up. I blame other people. I'm not, I don't know. Why should that be my fault? That's not my problem. They give up. They don't take accountability. And frustration, frustration. There's a delay here. They need to come at you right. They need to come at you right. They need to come at you clear. So we have Gemini. A lot of swords in here. A lot of things to talk about. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Heavily. This over here that looks nice. So with this having come out, I feel like this person... You still are kind of going back and forth in your mind about giving this person this opportunity or wanting this opportunity. But the more you think about them, the more you draw them in. The universe does not hear no. They hear, I want. You know, I, I, I need no. They hear what you're thinking about. So if you're thinking about that person, oh, they want more of this. They want more bullshit. You have to be very careful with your thoughts. I know it sounds goofy, but it's true. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo over here. Aquarius, Aries, this over here is beautiful. And as far as the Ten of Cups here that came out reversed, we used that for a you know, placement card, but they could have had an ending recently. So they're looking for something more stable and they're ready for it. Very optimistic, a lot of faith, a lot of hope. You want to spend time with them, but pro you know, prove it to me. Pro they're going to prove it to you. All right. So you got like a needs better clarification, needs more, more work. This person needs to put more work into this connection. All right. Source singles. Okay. I love your lips. I love your eyes. I love your smile. I dream about you every day. Temptations are my weakness and I always give in. I have toxic tendencies and I'm actively healing them okay then we have i'm focusing on myself don't take it personally well how, how, how can it they might be trying to change that would be good that would be good healing would be good so yeah i mean that it would be a lot of work a lot of work all right aquarius says that's what we have for you and we go pisces my cupcakes question of the day if you had to give up one habit good or bad one habit what would it be Elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Ace of Wands. This person's got a lot of passion for you. Wants to start something up. Ten of Pentacles. They feel like this would be an abundant connection. And they're very optimistic. Oof. Can't be making promises. Can be an Aquarius, but this person is like, let's start this up. Can meet them in a gathering or through work. Tens are groups of people. And what do you think? Things have to go smooth. You're really putting your foot down and going, you know, I, I'm up for something new. Um, I got my freedom here and I just released some tension. Um, it does look like you're interested in a new chapter. Let's get two more for yours. Because you want smooth sailing. You want things to go well. It's like I'm leaving baggage behind me. Bless you, Gooby. You want somebody that's going to... You are interested, but is this person younger than you? Because you might feel taken advantage of or taken for granted. It's just something that you're a little bit edgy about. It's at the bottom of the deck here. Seven of Pentacles. I think this is something that you would be willing to try, but you're not investing in it until you know what, what their intention is. It's like, I'm not making a shit ton of room in my life for you until I see that this is going to be something that pays off. So it's like, I'm a little indecisive. A little indecisive. Giving it possibly a chance. But it's like, things got to go smooth. So this can be somebody that you've already hooked up with, started dating, and they didn't act as mature as you thought they were going to be it could have been that you thought things were going good and boom they started being more immature but they want abundance they want abundance 
I am going to say, too, that if this person is a gold digger, just saying, just be careful of gold diggers. Because if you're being taken advantage of for your finances, that can be something to ponder. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Two of Swords. I don't want to make a choice. I don't want to see this. Avoiding it. What are they avoiding? What are they avoiding? Could be avoiding kissing ass. Could be a shame in a choice that they made. That can be an apology. Okay, we got a little regret here. Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This seems to me like this person um, possibly cheated, but they weren't reliable. You got a little bit of a roaming eye here. The Queen of Coins reversed is possibly vengeful, but does whatever the hell they want. Your thoughts. Two of Cups. Two more. Boom. Thought this was going well, and then you shit on it. So you feel like they put you in a position of competition, envy, jealousy. Do you want to compromise and fight for what's, you know... Can we try again? Possibly. Possibly. But you don't feel like things have been going in the right direction. There are feelings here, but you're using your head and your heart. So you're not really saying yes or no. This person could have just been... Again, with the financial. This person, you're interested, but they seem to, you know, cause rude awakenings here. Something did not go right. You feel like it did not go right. You don't want any drama and baggage, but at the same time, what are you collaborating with? What do you want to put work into? This person might be coming in with an apology, regretting a choice that they made. They also could be, you know, telling you that they're not with somebody anymore and they should have told you sooner. Just saying. But it does look like they're messaging you with positive messages and their intention is to come in and make you theirs again or make you theirs, period. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hanged them on. I'm looking at things from a different view. And I'm looking at you. This person is very impressed with you. They feel like you have a lot to offer. The hangman is not quite doing anything yet. But look at that. Ooh, ooh. They feel like you're a decent person. You're very supportive. That you're, you conform to... Wow. Stable. They know you're stable. Possibly wanting a commitment. Why the hangman? They're leery. They're leery and a little bit stubborn here. Could be a little bit timid. They got some trust issues. What do you think of this person? You don't believe a damn thing. Uh, you want to spend some time with them, but you're not sure if you trust them. The Knight of Swords here reverse. It's like, boy, you come up with some big fish stories. Doesn't mean that it's terrible. Let's get one more. It's like you want more information so that you're not just left behind. Because this does look like a connection that could go somewhere. There's that Seven of Pentacles again. Maybe I'll give this a try. This looks like a new connection, but not knowing them very well. I really feel like this person makes big fish stories. They make mountains out of molehills. So they're really, I feel like, just trying to impress you. I don't feel like they are trying to do any harm. This person's got their own damn trust issues. So sharing information with you, but leery, leery. It's like, first I want to see if you want to put work into it. They're very enamored with you, and they might know that you want a commitment and hesitating a little bit because they are afraid of getting hurt. So really confusing, but it is new energy. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys got some whack shit here. What the hell? I give up. I'm out of here. All right. Bye. The moon. Secrets and bullshit. They gave up. They weren't putting any work into this. This felt like uh, the grass might have been greener on the other side. Why the moon? Anxious. Deceptive. Judgment. Oof. How do you see them? Okay. Three of Wands. Two more. 
You can wait till hell freezes over, you manipulating, spineless little bastard. You don't trust them. You, you, you're trying to move on from this with a feeling of not looking back. Three of Wands. I feel like you emotionally led me on. You're hesitating. There could have been, could have been a third party in this that they walked away for. Don't wait it out. Don't wait for this person because this is waiting for your ships to come in. But I don't feel like it's with this person anymore. I feel like you're talking to or starting to talk to somebody new. You guys are got some really crazy whacked up and down energy with people. Holy man. Hold back. That's what Source is saying. Hold back. Delay talking to this person. There's something better, I feel, because they're going to try this is looking like they're going to try to come back your direction and you're going to be like, I'm a hell to the no. Mm -mm, no, you're moving forward with determination. The, the two of want major hesitation, major isolation, possibly a roaming eye. You feel like this person's cold and shitty, but that also can be you trying to emotionally distance yourself so that you don't get hurt. They've been judged, but they're, see, judgment can be trying to come back for a second chance. But if they, no, they, they don't put work into things and they bail easily. No, 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 no. I don't like that crap at all. All right. Let's get a clean deck. All right. Well, you got beautiful energy, abundance, clarity, seeing clearly can be a Leo coming your direction. Looks like a little crush. Somebody coming at you romantically. Feels like new there. Holding back a little bit, making sure that they're generous and sharing. and But there can be a lust feeling here as well. So let's see what we get. Starting with single source. Who's coming towards my singles? Ooh, an Aquarius that wants to try to work things out with you. Wants to see if the two of you can collaborate. So it's like, let's go with the flow. Ooh, their feelings. Passion. Courage, influenced by your looks, maybe. But they also see that you are <laughs> kind of a tough nut to crack. They still want to show you some stability. So, I mean, it does look very, very nice. They're optimistic. They're daydreaming about you. Let's see what you think of them. What do you think of this person? Oh. Wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups. Being greedy with your emotions, but happy nonetheless. Determined to move forward. Determined to be happy. I like it. One more for movement forward. All right. This is acknowledging that this person has a lot to offer and focusing on this. It's like, I'm willing to put work into this. It seems very optimistic. Cut of the deck, you have the fool. Spending time together, seeing where it can go. You're not guaranteeing them anything, but you're willing to give it a shot. This is selfish energy, but it's also emotional contentment. So that it does look very nice. Somebody that treats you well, using your intuition. The Empress is abundance. The Sun is abundance. It seems like this would be a very nice connection. And they just want to kind of go with the flow and see how it goes. And they know that you are kind of guarding your heart. And they're still going there. Nice. What's the ex thinking? Ten of Pentacles. Could be just working on finances and trying not to think. One more. Okay. Feelings for you. They cannot take back words. This is somebody that's regretting something that came out of their mouth. One more. And wishing that they would have, you know, put a little bit more of an investment in this. They got some regrets here. Seven of Swords. What a shoulda, coulda didn't it feels like they didn't want to be confronted with how much work they were putting into this then you got death at the bottom here what's the blockage they might not have been over somebody else or needed to wrap up another chapter that was long term with that ten of pentacles one more yeah it seems like they really poured it on thick with you but they weren't completely ready to, I mean, it's almost like they would have told you anything to have a chance with you, but I feel like they weren't completely over somebody else and they needed, they still need to wrap up and have closure with somebody else. They are interested in you, but uh, this can be an apology. It can, but they hid something. 
One more for Black Edge. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but this is looking like you were an option. And they were trying to not see the reality that they still need to deal with this other person. I would expect some confrontation yet. Where they had avoided it in the past, now you've got, like... How do you see this person? That can be an apology. I don't think you're forgiving him. You got judgment reversed. And you got the two of cups reversed. You feel like this person's a fucking player. And you're saying, fuck this, I'm out. I'm choosing to just stay to myself. But you're not dealing with it. You feel like this person was an attention hole and lacked direction. That they were superficial. That they underappreciated. That they were doubtful. That they, you know, it was like a stroke my ego type bullshit. And yet, they want to come back. I think you're going to slap them silly with the fucking honesty stick. I do really feel like, yeah, there's going to be some major talks and discussions here, but I still feel like you're going to end up telling them, I'm good. I'm not interested. And you got the five of cups. I don't want to, and I don't feel like you even want to deal with this person. It's like, see how he's sticking his fingers in his hair? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. La, 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 la. Single's good right now. I really feel like this person kind of screwed you over because they wanted to be happy, but they had something else to wrap up first. That's dishonest bullshit. And if they're going to do that to this other person, you know well enough to go, they would do it again. So it's like not necessarily moving any, it's like you feel stuck and you're telling the same story. Don't be critical on yourself. Don't let this person cause trust issues for the next one because that's that feeling right here. You feel like there was a major breach in trust here. Major breach. And this is you going, I see it now. Oh, do I see it now? But this person needs to wrap up their crap over here. I don't feel like you're forgiving them. They came in very romantically. Yeah, all fine and dandy. But they were in another connection. What are they thinking about? Where do I, do I even have an opportunity? Probably not. So now they're going, well... I really, you know, like Pisces, but I'm stuck here at home. They've got obligations that they should be taking care of. And regretting what has come out of their mouth, regretting what they did, it's like feeling defeated and they're bitter. They won't see it any other way. They were exposed, busted, too impulsive. Now they have, this is doubt, and they know that you are doubting them. I should have put more work into it, woulda, shoulda, coulda, but I didn't. I snuck away. I didn't want to be confronted. Asshole. Ass wipe. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If they were honest with you and honest with that other person, we'd have a different story here completely, but they weren't. Aries, Leo, Sag. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo heavily. Singles looking good. Cancer, Aquarius. And yeah, it's almost like you take this story here and there you are. Guarded. Guarded and being extremely cautious. And it's like, man, one lie. But don't assume that this, you know, is somebody that's going to just set your strong boundaries and you'll get the respect. I really feel like this person is going to show you. They know when to hold back and they know when to pour it on. Heavy on the Leo as well. Let's see what this person would say. Source. Okay, that came out quick. Singles. Wow, okay. Yes, yes, yes. You spark something in me. And yes, again, you're too good for me. I wonder what you see in me. And then I don't want to be at war with you anymore. Can we call it truce? One more. I wouldn't date me. I don't know why you would either. Yeah. <clears throat> I have to love you from a long distance, from a distance right now. Yeah, they're stuck. But that's their own damn fault. They put themselves in this. It's like, oops. No, that's not an oops. They knew what the hell they were doing. If they were, would have been honest, it would have been completely different. Bummer for them. All right, my cupcakes, that's what we have for you. Many blessings, and we will see you next time.